Yo, what is up? And welcome back to the Crypto Galaxy. Dude, I'm so excited for this one. I'm pretty stoked because I figured out, man, it's like it's not even fair that, you know, I, I kind of figured it out and decided that Games for a Living is hands down the best crypto to make me the next gaming crypto millionaire. And I actually have good reason for that. You know, it's the team, the fundamentals, the bullish chart, this, that, and everything else. Decent tokenomics. It's whatever. Games for look Living looking really good. Big YouTube channels are starting to talk about it. Uh, Jake Gordon made a video on it. Uh, I heard that Alex Becker has also mentioned it. I know Crypto Gains made a video on GFAL as well. So it's the same thing over and over, right? Like we find a gem, we buy in early, and then three to six months later, then the new uh, bigger YouTube channels will start covering it because uh, the, the, these crypto projects, they speak for themselves, right? And what we found here was a needle in the haystack. There's hundreds of gaming coins. There's so many scams, just blatant scams. Horrible picks, uh, Gala, Axie, Engine. There's some garbage-ass picks. Oh, oh, Alluvium, too. I know. But please don't get so butthurt. I know you might be holding Alluvium, and you're like, what? Alluvium and Gala are scams? Yeah, they're sucked, dude. I'm sorry, but uh, I feel pretty lucky and fortunate that I have basically found the best gaming crypto to be buying now and to keep stacking for the next bull run. And there's also some more gaming cryptos on my radar that I think have decent charts, Pretty new docs teams, pretty low market caps, and decent okay-ish gaming fundamentals. There's always new gems on the radar that we got to keep our eye out for. And I have some of these moon bags, but you know, clearly G, G file games for a living is the winner. And I, I, I'll say this about gaming cryptos, right? Because I know uh Casper is a big part of my channel. You know, I, I love Casper. You know, Casper is still my number one biggest crypto holding. I have more Casper than anything else, but what I'm saying is that the gaming crypto narrative is actually, uh, it's very underrated. It, it, it pumps the most. It gets the most FOMO and the most hype because people actually like video games. They play video games. It has a, a big community. It's like a meme coin almost, but a little bit better because meme coins are, you know, is this, the, the odds that you find the best meme coin and make a million bucks, it just never happens, right? I, I It never worked out for me. I'm just saying the gaming coins, they tend to perform better. So uh, the, the narrative that's, I think, the second best to the uh, the layer ones, zeros, and twos, it's, it's the same narrative, is the gaming cryptos. And there's a lot of crappy narratives out there, crappy categories like metaverse, real world assets, DeFi, swaps, DEXs. Um, there's some really crappy ones. I, I, I would put like central exchanges probably at the number three category, but gaming definitely takes number two. It gets the most FOMO, most overhyped potential. It always does a big pump and dump in every bull run. So the next bull run is coming, and I'm saying... Pack your bags now, people. Pack your bags. Get ready for the bull run. We're going to be having some huge pump and dumps with these gaming cryptos. I'm planning to, to call it quits after this next bull run. I'm planning to make my million bucks. Uh, we're looking at at least 100x, 200x, or 300x with a few of these gaming picks. Last bull run, it happened. Dude, people made 3,000x on Gala. It's just crazy. And so Gala uh, had a, a blow off top, did a pump and dump. It's a scam now. It's dead. No way should you buy Gala now. It's, it's kaput. So you got to buy the next Gala with potential to become the next 3,000x pump and dump. I'm so fucking excited. I finally figured out how the crypto works to find the next best pump and dump to be early, to buy the gems, the new cryptos that have potential to be the next Binance listing, the next Coinbase listing, and to be the next greatest thing that everyone will be talking about. You'll, you'll hear all the normies talking about games for a living in two years after they go more mainstream. And games for a living, I believe, just came out of their gaming conference. Last Sunday when they were in Valencia or Villarreal, I don't know, something that starts with a V. No habla espanol. I don't really know. I just know that they went to a big gaming conference in Spain. So Games for a Living, still bullish, still has great news. Um, but obviously at the end of the day, I always come back to my chart principles and I'm excited for this one because gaming cryptos are fun. I'm a true degenerate. I'm a gambling addict. I love the crypto casino and we're here to play the lottery, right? That's how this works. <laughs> so what's up, people? What's going on? What's up, Aria? What's good, man? Uh, Tyler T, what's going on? Love the consistent live streams. Full of legit info. You're blowing up, man. Congrats. Awesome. Thanks, Tyler T. Thank you very much, sir. Very much appreciate it. And I wish the best of luck to the Kansas City Chiefs. Hopefully, you guys can uh, win some more games. Thank you, sir. Uh, Crypto PD Investor. Uh, new coins. Let's go. Yeah, we got some new picks on this list today. Shout out to Phil M. He's a great gem hunter, and he's also really good at finding gaming coins. So shout out to my Patreon member, Phil M. Thank you, sir, so much for bringing me these new potential gaming gems we're gonna take a look at these new ones greg what's up man cj i know you like docs teams but what do you think about the following d5 uh potential plays what do you got here you got son uh, d5 optimism 12k i think you tweet me 12 million 
diluted market cap. Um, I don't know so much about DeFi on optimism. It's super risky. I think optimism itself is a better investment and safer and probably going to uh, make bigger th returns than any DeFi on optimism. De DeFi on optimism is going to be very, very risky. So I would probably stay out of it. Uh, it's just not my thing. MZ, what's up, man? Favorite YouTuber. Wow. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much. What's up? Pipcoin Revolution. Dude, I love the name. Finally, we have a, a Pipcoin user. It's such an underrated gem. And even I am guilty of not promoting uh, Pip enough, but that's, that's okay. It just gives me more time to buy Pip. I'm still loading up on Pip. It's cheap. Dude, Pip is uh, under, what is it, 20 cents now? Dude, it's a bullish chart, man. It's getting ready to fly. Pip looking good. Bull Bear AI a sleeper. Just another meme. <laughs> Bro, bull bear AI? Are you serious, Charlie? Yeah, I think it's just another another meme. You answered your own question. Buying Tet before the sex listings, 1.4 mil MC. What does that do? Let me know about it. Give me reasons. Why is it bullish? Jobin might have gone a little crazy on Caspa. Yeah, I, I have too. Opinions on Miria. Uh, it's on my honorable mentions list. It's dumping too much. I don't like the chart, but I will still give it the benefit of the doubt. It could turn things around. So I will talk about Miria more today. Yes, GFAL is way better than Miria. If you're ever wondering, just get more GFALs. Keep stacking the games for a living. Stack it now before it goes mainstream. Yeah, <laughs> waiting for a fiat deposit to clear and dropping a 400 on the cast. But awesome, dude. That's good. Uh, Phil says GFAL way better, but worth keeping an eye on Miria if you want an alternative. Lit Labs or AWT MetaMerge is cool too. Yes, yes, Phil. Shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for the gem hunting you've been doing. Uh, I, I do have those picks on the list today. I've got Lit Labs, I've got AWT, and um, I've got Meta Merge. Not all on the list, but some are honorable mentions. They're all they're all good picks, though. They're pretty decent. Yeah, Mirio just keeps dumping, looking pretty iffy. Jake Gordon confessed he's down bad on H bar, like eighty percent, but he's still accumulating to become a millionaire. Who's gonna pump his bags? <laughs> oh, Dario Dixon. Do we actually go tell Jake Gordon that he's kind of fucking up with his H-Bar investment? Nah, we should just go let him believe. Let him believe H-Bar will make him a millionaire because of the partnerships and the technology and the hash graph and the ISO compliancy and the, you know, the new world order. <laughs> Dude, like, do you really tell the kid that Santa Claus isn't real? Do you do it? I don't know, man. It's, it's a tough question. It's like a serious question to ask. You don't want to take away a candy from a baby. You just don't, you just shouldn't do it. It's not right. Like it's the right thing to do, but you're going to piss them off and make them upset. So we probably should not tell Jake Gordon that uh, he's going to be the next homeless YouTuber living in a cardboard box because he keeps buying H bar. And also his entire audience is invested into scams, dude, H bar, XRP, XLM, Jasmine, Algorand. That shit ain't going to make you a millionaire. The market caps are too big. The charts look like pump and dumps. The tokenomics have terrible pre-allocations to the teams and the VCs who basically dump on you on retail. So retail is the one left holding the bag, getting dumped on. So I feel kind of bad for Jake Gordon, but I also don't. And it is true. Who's going to pump his bags? I ain't going to do it. Do you want to do it, Dario? I don't think you want to do it either. No one wants to pump H-Bar. Phil says, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're going to get the womp womps today. I know some someone's going to show Alluvium or... You know, uh, Gala or Nakamoto Games. There's some really bad picks out here. I'm adding that to the scams list right now. Nakamoto Games. Holy crap, dude. People actually buying these rugged looking cryptos. Yeah. Jerry deleted his Gasp of Review today. I know. That was hilarious, bro. Like, really? You gonna... <laughs> Jerry Banfield. Oh, my God. He believes Internet Computer is the best altcoin. And it's, it's a huge scam. I feel bad for him. Hola, Coca-Cola. What's up, bro? Caspa is up. Yo, what's up, Incensito? What's up, man? Yes, it's up. Bro, I stopped listening to all the channels because they are boring. After I find you. Yes. <laughs> Let's go, Eddie, my, my, my man. Let's do it. I, I'm trying to have fun out here, right? And the reason I'm having fun is because all my bags are pumping. I just keep making money in the bear market. I'm not saying it to brag, but I'm just saying it to be honest and realistic. I keep making money. My bags keep pumping. I keep getting new gems. I keep buying at the lows and the bottoms, and my bags keep pumping. I'm feeling good about my crypto investment. So I just like to kind of chill, get on the stream, have some fun, make fun of people. And uh, But I, I, I got to be careful, though. My, my therapist tells me, Galaxy, you got to be nicer to people. Why are you always roasting 
other YouTubers. Why are you calling all these crypto scams? You're going to hurt someone's feelings. And I was like, ah, fuck it, dude. I'm going in. I'm going to call the scams for being scams. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to have some fun, man. We're going to have fun. We're going in. Dave, what's up, dude? Look up Max Maher, how to pay taxes legally on YouTube so you can save all, for, save all your cash for profits. I opened our video on taxes and crypto in the USA. Awesome, man. Thanks for sharing. I'll have to take a look at that later. Thank you, sir. Yeah, NP, GFAL 250X. I'm sorry. Did I FUD GFAL in the thumbnail? I said only 100X. I'm sorry, man. I was FUDing GFAL. I got to I gotta be more realistic. Why am I FUDing it? Freedom, freedom isn't free. It's taxed. <laughs> oh, yeah. God bless the USA, the land of the free, except for 40% short-term capital gains taxes and 20% long-term capital gains taxes on cryptos. But otherwise, it's pretty free, right? <laughs> kind of free. Eddie, order, order the Tangem. Nice, dude. Yeah, put your Caspa on the Tangem. If you don't want to be homeless, you got to get a Tangem hardware wallet. Use my code right here. Buy it now before the pre-orders get backed up. Everyone is getting Tangem. So they're selling out really fast. Great place to put Caspa. Games for a living and pretty much any other crypto. If G foul goes to $5, I'm going to do a backflip off my PC desk. All right, record it, bro. I want to see the video. <laughs> I can buy my entire town if G foul hits $10. Yo, let's go, man. That'll be awesome, man. Wow. I'm going to buy your whole town. What's up, Nindo? What up, farm? What's going on? 80 says, yo, VIP Patreon activated. Hey. Welcome, AD, to the Patreon. Thanks for joining, man. Welcome aboard. You get the buy alerts. You can see exactly what I'm doing. And welcome, sir. Man, people have really been joining the VIP tier lately this week because we're seeing, wow, Galaxy actually makes money with his investments? Yeah, I actually make money. I'm not here to scam anyone. I'm I'm talking about cryptos I buy and I invest in. So, dude, I'm saying the VIP tier is where it's at. Dude, you get the, the buy and the sell alerts in the Discord. Uh, and welcome to the Discord channel. Chat with us, man. See what's up. Watch us. Listen to what we're saying. And welcome to the Patreon. So, for uh, everyone else who joined the Patreon recently, some of you have not actually gotten on the Discord. You got to get on the Discord. That is where the buy alerts are. So, uh, quick shout out to Greg. Thank you for joining the Patreon. AD, thank you for joining. Pig Monster, join. Uh, TS Caspa 200X. Yeah, someone's name was Caspa 200X. He joined the Patreon. <laughs> Caspa 200X. That's his username. Uh, shout out to Jan, Naruto, Lee, Anak, Altai Za, Matt Burden, uh, Mr. Bullish, Matthew, Nicholas, Stefanos, and a few others. Uh, I just want to call out real quick. Not home. Please get on the Discord. You got to join the link in your email. Karsten, also check your email for the Discord link. And John, check your Discord. Check your email for the Discord link. And Altaiza and Stefanos. The Discord is where all the buy and sell alerts are. That's where all the activity happens is Discord. So please join the Discord if you're on the Patreon. It's going to be in your email from Patreon. Check your spam folder. Check your junk folder. The Discord button will be in there. You have to join. That's the whole part of the Patreon. It's like 90% 90, 90 of the Galaxy Patreon is connected to Discord. What's up, A1 Boogie? What's going on? What's pop a lop? And did I, did I forget to say pop a lop? And oh my God, thanks for reminding me, Abdallah. What would I do without you, bro? Thank you so much. What's up, Ernesto Amino Games? What's going on? What up, BL? Lazarus finally in the stream. I can now slowly head to bed. Yeah, I apologize to everyone in Europe. I get it. It's 2 a.m., 3 a.m. I'm sorry. I had to eat dinner. I was really hungry, and that's why the stream was a little delayed. Also, I still work a full-time job, you know? Uh, if I was financially free, if I was super rich, which I'm not, I'm still kind of poor, I would be doing the live streams earlier at, you know, a, a time that works for everyone, right? I would do the live streams at 11 a.m. USA time, and it's uh, basically 7 p.m. Europe time. So I'm sorry. Uh, eventually, eventually, we'll, we'll we'll make that happen. CG, I need to read the Okta white paper. I cannot stop buying. Yo, is there some bullish news in there? What's up with it? Okta's a good gem, bro. Low cap. What's up, man? No electricity since 7 a.m. in the house. Yo, Omar, that's crazy, dude. Wow. Man, Omar, you got to make more money so that you can actually go uh, uh, buy a Lambo. So when you lose your electricity in your house, you can go uh, get a Lamborghini. You can chill on that ride while you uh, get your electricity back in the house. How many cash to be a millionaire? Uh, I'd say like uh, at least 200,000. Get 200,000. What's up, Farouk? AWT been, uh, excuse me, been dipping. Still holding though. Yeah, AWT chart looking bullish, dude. What's up? What's up, Pedro? AD says, good community and so much info to take in. Made a ton of moonbag buys and, of course, buying more cash ball. Let's go. Yes, sir. AD, scroll through the buy alerts history. Go grab all the moonbags. I swear, dude, some of these are going to do 100x overnight and we'll be, we'll be like, wow, I just turned 
50 bucks into five grand out of nothing. It's just crazy. It's going to happen with some of these. I don't know which one, but I know one of them is going to cover all the losses in the other one. So AD, yeah, go ahead and um, make sure you use Mexi. That's the, the exchange I use for most of the gems is Mexi because you can uh, bypass the Uniswap withdrawal, uh, Uniswap trading fees, and also Mexi just in general lists <clears throat> all of the, <clears throat> excuse me, all of the gems. Oh, man, my throat, Ugh. Kyla Coin is a power blood. Dude, uh, Kyla Coin, I'm sorry. It, it has a pump and dump chart. If you look at the all time chart on TX Bit, not on Coin Market Cap, Coin Market Cap only lists cryptos later after the launch. So you got to check TX Bit all time chart for Kyla Coin. Looks like a pump and dump. I don't really recommend. What's up, Stalker? Uh, Pedro says, Oh, I'm unfuck with the ball on Patreon. Yo, man, dude, Pedro Martini, you've been on F with the ball this whole time and you didn't tell me. Man, thank you for finally telling me because. I remember you, Pedro. I keep calling you Martini. I know you're not Martini. You're Martini. Pedro, what's up, dude? Nice profile picture with the Casper Rocket. And thanks for letting me know that you are on F with the Bull on the Patreon. Thank you, sir. I didn't I never knew that. Uh, Casper Quant. Dude, uh, Casper, easily. It's a, it's a no-brainer. BL says, thank you, CG, for all your help. You're a gem. It's wonderful to be part of the Patreon community. Thank you so much, BL. What's up? What's going on, BL? You mentioned, uh, Gala, if you had invested 300 bucks, you would have made a million. That's crazy. Yes, sir. It did a 3,000 X. So you'd only need to put 300 bucks in there to be a millionaire. So um, I think with games for a living, you could turn 300 bucks to a uh, million dollars. Is it far-fetched? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, dude. But it, it can happen. These gaming coins get so much hype. So much hype, dude. It's crazy. Gaming coins is a great uh, crypto category. Good narrative. What's up, Claiborne from the Philippines? Mark Gardier, what's up, dude? I used to hold Alluvium and Gala, but after I got education from this channel, I decided to go then sell those at a loss to pick up cash by the lowest bottom available to me and no regrets. Yes. That's great, sir. Yeah, get rid of the scams, the dumping cryptos. Uh, here on the Crypto Galaxy, we only buy cryptos that pump in the bear market. So there's no such thing as a bear market to me. It's always a bull run or it's a, a bigger bull run. So right now, I believe these altcoins are currently in a bull run. Caspa is in a permanent bull run. Damn it. Go buy some fucking Caspa. It always pumps. I bought some yesterday. I'm still going to buy more. Uh, I'm still buying more games for a living. Still buying some of these micro cap gaming coins. The bull run is here. There's no such thing as a bear market for actually good altcoin cryptos so welcome to the crypto galaxy that's all we buy is cryptos that keep pumping in the bear market and people are like whoa what you can buy cryptos that always pump in the bear market yes you can do that <laughs> welcome to the crypto galaxy where we only make money what's up red bull can't sleep i don't sleep you're my go-to crypto channel what's up dude welcome Bro, Red Bull Vodka. Just have another Red Bull Red Bull Vodka, and you'll be good. You'll be awake. Uh, Kevin, can you look at Candy Pocket? Uh, maybe I can look later. Remind me later. Gertie, hey, I was listening to your stream of Shy while I was working. I heard Shy say Jesus when you were talking about books. I had to rewind. I thought you got Shy to say Raptor Jesus is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Raptor Jesus. That's a new meme on the galaxy. What's up, Leonard Ray? Go back to the Super Bowl champs. <laughs> Bro, it's 4 a.m. in the country. Your country? Holy crap, dude. Yeah, I'll get to the list soon. But you can also play it back. Watch on NXRA. It sucks. I hate it. I'm sorry. It's a scam. It's a huge scam. To become 10K subs. Yes, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Uh, you can help push the channel to 10K and also not miss any videos. Yeah. Go ahead and subscribe to the Crypto Galaxy. Sold all my XLM. And I'm buying Raptor Jesus to the moon. <laughs> oh, I swear, dude. If I make a, a meme coins list video, I'll actually have to include Raptor Jesus. It's just too hard to pass on. We got to get R Raptor Jesus. Nindo got some gas, but awesome. And and make them take them. I, 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 okay, so make them take them. I realize I've been calling you mock them, talk them <laughs> this whole time. Mock them, talk them. And I look at the basketball and I realize... You know how the saying goes in, in basketball, you miss every shot, you don't take. And I realized, oh, your name is make them, take them. It's not mock them, talk them. Okay, so I believe that's the correct pronunciation. And thank you so much for the $5 super chat. <laughs> What's up, CG? Cash buzz pumping too fast. I agree. It's pumping too fast, pumping too much. I, I bought the dip and then the dip got eaten up and now it's not a dip anymore. So 
Hopefully with the stream talking about gaming cryptos, we can divert people's attention away from Caspa and then we can divert people's attention towards the gaming crypto. So that hopefully uh, for the time being, Caspa's price can go down. I hope that uh, some other YouTubers like Jerry Banfield can go make some more FUD videos. We want the price down. Whatever FUD you got, A6, uh, it pumped too much. Uh, it's a useless layer one. Whatever you want to say to FUD Caspa, other YouTubers, please do it. We want the price down so we can buy more. The price is too expensive. So, yeah. Eric B. Dope shirt. Awesome. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Ghost, what's up, man? What's going on? Johnny Cash, realistic G file price prediction at least $1. Oli says, where can I store PIP? Tanjum. It is a custom Solana chain token. You can add custom tokens on Tanjum. Just hit the little plus button in the top right, and it's Solana chain. Copy and paste the contract address for PIP from CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. Do recommend putting pip on tangent dude all the gems i mainly hold are all supported on tangent and today and i also just bought the uh the one key this is another hardware wallet that supports caspa uh it's this is the one key mini because i still have the classic coming in the mail i still have the one key light coming in the mail so this is a physical device it looks like a treasure or a ledger i'm still setting it up this will support pip supports games for a living supports caspa that's the big deal is caspa right because Caspa is a layer one and they added support for Caspa. So I do recommend get a one key, put your Bitcoin, Ethereum, Caspa on here, your GFAL, your PIP. Uh, and it's nice to have multiple hardware wallets because if one of them, if anything were to happen to one of them, you still have the other as a backup. So recommend get a one key. Uh, I got the mini from Amazon because uh, the shipping times from the one key website is so slow. I ordered a classic from one key like two months ago and it's still in the mail so it's really slow so check out amazon check out the official resellers get a, a, a mini or a classic or a one key light if you can i think the lights are sold out but for now get a mini or a classic and definitely hop on the tangent pre-order list now because the longer you wait the more people that are going to come into crypto the more people that will keep buying tangent and then the further back will be pushed into queue so buy the tangent now uh, use my code right here, Galaxy, to get 10% off. It's 50 bucks for a three-pack, and you can secure all your crypto, your Caspa, Pip, GFAL, Bitcoin, ETH, Dogecoin. You can even put Raptor Jesus on a Tangem. You can put Raptor Jesus if you really want to. Um, and Tangem, I found out, is more secure than I actually thought because on Tangem, you set up an access code when you first create the Tangem wallet, which is a password. And the password is actually... Uh, used to generate your private key or it's embedded into your tangent physical card so if you lose your physical tangent card which i know this is not a real example of a tangent card it's just a, a it's a fake it's, this this tangent note it's just a, a spinoff that only supports dogecoin but anyways assume this is a tangent okay um this stores uh your crypto and if you lose it like whoop i just lost it um, you wouldn't actually lose your crypto from Tangem because they also need the password, the access code to open up your Tangem. So uh, a Tangem, I believe, is the safest hardware wallet. It's safer than Trezor, Ledger, uh, OneKey because there's no seed phrase. There's just a it's a built in. Oops, upside down. It's a built in private key in the Tangem. And when you set up the wallet for the first time, you create a password, which also goes in the uh, in embedded into the card. So that way, if you lose the card, you still need the password to open up your crypto. But for you on your app, you don't need a password every time to open up your funds. You just need to tap the card to your phone um, like that. You just tap it to your phone and then that unlocks your uh, your crypto. So don't lose your phone. Don't lose the password to your phone because if you lose both, right? Like if you, if you lose your phone and your card to the tangent and you give up your, your passcode to the phone, you could lose your crypto. But uh, tangent looking pretty good. Do recommend get a tangent. Um, don't get the Doge card note card. This is just for shits and giggles. It's just for fun. I just thought it looked cool, but you can only you can only store Dogecoin on here. Damn it, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks, man. The Doge card. You know what I got to say to that is get this. The fuck out of here. Yeah, I recommend get the actual tangent cards. Don't get the Doge card. <laughs> Being a millionaire with H bar is very easily doable. Just put in a couple hundreds of thousands of dollars like the rich people, and then you'll get your millions. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Garan Vesserin with the five euro super chat. Wow, thanks, man. What's up, dude? Hello, CG. Hello, everyone. Greetings from Croatia. Take a closer look at Avatli, Ava. You won't regret it. Awesome, man. Thank you very much for the uh, the, Avat, the 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 super chat. And I will go ahead and take a quick look at your pick. 
Thank you very much for the super chat. All right. So your super chat and your pick gets priority over everything else. All right. So let's go see. Ava Avali. Let's go see. Is this a gaming grip though? Is it a bullish chart? All right. The chart's not bad. Wow. This is a really low market cap. 260,000. Fully di diluted is only 1 million. Damn, dude. This is really cheap. <clears throat> and this is listed on Bitmart. Hey. Wow. This looks like a potential gem. What does it do? Uh, first metaverse for the fashion industry. Oh man, I'm sorry. Like chart looks good. It's on exchanges. It's cheap, but holy shit, man. What is this about? Like, what is this AI lady walking around in a blue dress? Here we go. We got to play this. I, I don't know, man. Like... I, I get it. it. It checks some boxes for me. It's got a good chart. Uh, it's got a low market cap, and it's cheap. It's on BitMart. That's a good sign. I, I also like pancake swap coins, but holy crap, man. Who wants to buy this shit? This, this sucks, dude. Like, new dimension. Our desire is to create an outstanding experience of trying on virtual clothes in the metaverse. We're convinced that metaverse and VR technology are the ways to realizing this vision. I'm sorry, this point is too goofy. Ask yourself this, Garan. Ask yourself this. Is this going to get listed on Coinbase? Will Abbott Lee get listed on Binance? Will people want to pump your bags? Who's going to pump your bags? I'm asking you these questions, all right? Give me your honest answer. Do you think this is going to list on Coinbase, Binance? Do you think people are actually going to buy this? My opinion is no. I'm sorry. I, I think it's a pretty bad pick. Just my opinion. <laughs> But um, it doesn't hurt to grab a small bag, right? It's cheap, 250K market cap. You might as well buy uh, 20 bucks of it as a lottery ticket, but I'm not like, I don't think it has that much potential. But you could make a short-term pump with it. But for me personally, bro, I'm going to have to pass. But thanks again so much, man, for the super chat. Do appreciate it. Yeah, hello looking decent. It's okay. I got a small bag. Jerry deleted the video after Silver picked him apart. Yeah, I saw that, dude. <laughs> Jerry Banfield. He said that Casper sucks because it pumped too much. I'm like, bro, are you serious? <laughs> like it, it pumped too much? Bro, my bag's pumping with yours. Yeah, wow, welcome. If you follow my picks, we, we get the pumps at the same time. You're the Napoleon of crypto trying to take over the world for fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Going to take over. Invading all the homeless people. Looking for a 5X to up the portfolio? <laughs> Any suggestion, guys? <laughs> Looking for a 5X? Dude, just get more Casper or GFAL, man. I don't know. What's the 5X? Everyone, let let JG know. What's the next 5X? It could be Raptor Jesus. Maybe. Maybe Raptor Jesus. I'm on profit on Bone thinking I should sell it to get more Casper. What do you think? CG. Yeah, dude. Bone sucks, man. I'm not. It's not a scam, all right? Bone is okay, but I don't see much value in Shibi Inu. It's an Ethereum token. I think Dogecoin is actually way better than Shiba Inu because Dogecoin is a layer one proof of work coin that only comes from the miners. It had no pre-allocation to Vitalik Buterin or anyone else. So I think Shiba and Bone and the whole dog ecosystem is going to collapse. Only Dogecoin is going to stick around. That's just my thought. Got a tangent from your link. Let's go. Awesome, man. That is great. Bro, I know people who don't know anything about paying taxes. You're Napoleon of crypto destroying your neighbors, calling them homeless. I know it's crazy, dude. I got I got to be nicer. My therapist tells me, Galaxy, you got to be so be nicer to people. Why are you uh, roasting everyone? Uh, social network for watching. Hold on, FX One is a gem. Please give your feedback. Basically, a social network for watching games on the blockchain. <laughs> what? Where's the value in that? Watching games on a social network. How is that any inherent value? That sounds like a scam. I'm sorry. There's no, that's a terrible fundamental. Jerry Banfold review is still on YouTube. <laughs> What's up, Jeb and I? What's going on, man? Uh, as the last live, sure wasn't an answer. Do you plan on holding GFAL after the bull run? Um, Maybe. It's questionable, right? Uh, Probably not much, if any. I, I might hold 10%, maybe 20%. Uh, but I'm definitely going to sell most of the GFAL, right? Because all these gaming cryptos, no matter how good they are, they become pump and dumps. I know it sucks, but it's just the way it is. We're early to the crypto. Someone else will pump our bags. We will we will sell on them, and then we will make the profits and go woohoo, bump it up party. 
at the expense of other people. I know it's kind of sad, but hey, just the way crypto works, all right? When you learn sooner, when you when you get the hang of it, the better you'll be, the better off you'll be. Uh, Phil says, I think a lot of new viewers flock to you because you're not flaky and stick by your convictions with your picks. I used to be uh, used to like Joe Paris as he came across as charismatic, but his picks are terrible. Yes. That is true, dude. I actually do stick by my picks. Man, I've been buying Caspa and bullish on Caspa for six months straight. And Pip and GFAL, I've been super bullish on these for three months straight with consistent videos. These people like Joe Paris, they go around shilling every crypto. This crypto is the next 100x. That crypto is the next 100x. And then that one. Same for Supple Man, Crypto Gains, Crypto Seth, Crypto Archie. And a uh, hundred other people do the same thing. They jump from crypto to crypto. They say everything will do 100x. But I have actual conviction on my top picks, which is Caspa, GFAL, PIP. And also in this stream, I will go into my top five gaming cryptos because I have new cryptos on my radar to become a number four. As of right now, I still can't find my number four favorite pick. But pick, but you make a good point, Phil. Um, my top three, it's just Caspa, PIP, and GFAL. There ain't no other. So I'm looking for the number four. What's it going to be, people? Who's excited? Like, I'm excited to figure out what the number four pick is going to be. There's going to be one, right? There's still new cryptos coming out. There's still new charts to be formed. There's still new stuff. Something is going to be number four. And what has potential to become number four? I don't know, but I'm excited to see what is going to join the Crypto Galaxy team. What's it going to be? What's going to be number four? Have you checked a look at Mass Q? I think it sucks. I'm sorry. I saw it before. It was terrible. How many intended to be a millionaire? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, CG, I got Pip on KuCoin. Where can I send it? I got Tanjum. Yes. Oli, you got to get the Tanjum uh, wallet open. Add it as a custom Solana chain token. You can add Pip there. CG, I need Octolus on Maxi. All right, bro. After Octolus on Maxi, you can buy and you can pump our bags. I'm just saying. I'm just going to pump before the Maxi listing. So just suck it up. Uh, sign up for TXBit or CoinX. CoinX is the easiest to use. I would recommend that. Use a VPN. It's super easy. Um, I just use TXBit because I'm already signed up for it and they don't ban the USA. But you got to get it before the Mexi listing. Get it earlier. What about Everdome? Dude, it's a huge scam. No. It sucks. Dion, yo, what's up, Michael? What's going on? Finite, you got to check the whole time chart. Check the all time chart from. Uh, TX bit that uh, has the whole chart. Uh, Planet, I think it's it's whatever. I don't remember Planet, but the the market cap, like you said, it's too big. Also, what is the fully diluted market cap? Can you tell me that too? The fully diluted. What's up, Andrew? Casper having in a few hours next bull run, new bull run in a month. Let's go, man. Yeah, bull runs coming all the time. Mohammed said. Hello, CG. Today I had an argument with a Nakamoto Games influencer. I heard his feelings calling his wife Naka a scam, and he called me low IQ. <laughs> yes, we're going to expose Nakamoto Games for being a scam. It's the worst gaming pick ever. It has a rugged looking chart. Who's going to pump those bags? It sucks. It's an exit scam, and it's on my scams list. Don't worry, Mohammed. I got your back, bro. Um, those other YouTubers are going to be homeless. Uh, their wives are probably going to leave them when they find out how, that they're not making any money with Nakamoto games. It sucks, dude. It's the worst gaming pick ever. What's up, Gabriel? Didn't notice you were on Mexi. KuCoin with KYC. Tandem took forever. Can I still transfer coins to Tandem? What are the pros and cons? My favorite YouTuber. Um, Pros and cons for Tandem? Uh, well, the pros is that it's very secure. Like, you can't lose your crypto unless you give up your access code and you give up your cards. The cons to Tandem, I couldn't really find any cons, right? Like, it's very secure and safe. The only con to Tandem is that it's easily accessible, right? Because if you always have your cards on hand and you tap it to your phone, you might paper hand your, your crypto. You might sell your crypto early. Uh, it's not a security con. It's not a safety concern. It's just that when you have something like a one key, like a physical device, you got to plug it in. You got to get the software set up. You got to enter your passcode. It's just a whole bunch of uh, hoops you got to jump through, which in my opinion, is good, right? Because I'm not trying to paper hand my Caspa. So it's a good thing. Uh, so for a lot of people, I do recommend uh, hardware wallets that are difficult to use are actually a, a blessing in disguise because you're not going to paper hand your shit. You're not going to sell early. 
Uh, I know a lot of you are going to sell your Casper early before the bull run because you're going to go, oh, woohoo, I made a 2X. I'm just going to transfer from Tanjum to the exchange and sell it. So um, that's the only downside. But if you trust yourself to be a, a diamond hand, Tanjum is good. Otherwise, I couldn't find any other uh, concerns with Tanjum. I've talked to a few people about it. I, I could find nothing. There's nothing wrong with it as far as I can tell. Your private, your private key is perfectly safe and secure on your card. This is also uh, backed up by your access code that you use to set up your tangent hardware wallet. So I couldn't really think of anything to, to FUD the tangent, but I'm looking right, dude. I don't just put tangent up here on my screen for no reason. I actually use tangent for most of my crypto funds because it is legitly safe, secure, and easy to use. I've been doing crypto for nine years. I've been using ledger for many years and it's a scam. Ledger sucks. I would not use tangent for no reason. I use this for a good reason. There's a reason why tangent is on the screen. It's because it's safe, secure, um, fast, easy to use, and it supports Caspa, supports GFAL, supports PIP, supports everything. It's a great hardware wallet. This channel picks will turn your cardboard boxes into a mansion by 2025. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Omar Barrios from rags to riches to become the next mansion living people. <laughs> Thanks, TG. That's correct. Awesome. Make them take them. Got it. Got it. Not Mac them, talk them. Yeah, please, Jerry, can you FUD it? What makes GFAL so special? It's because the team is really good, man. They have the, the CEO from EA. They also have a, um, the vice president from Activision Blizzard, and they have a art director from Netflix. So you got Nico. Just look up the team for Games for a Living. You will see why it's really good. Hey, CG, any difference? One key in tangent. Yeah, so very minimal differences if any i've never tried the the one key card yet so i'm not really sure how that works all i have right now is the the one key uh plug in plug in device that's that's all i have i don't have the uh the one key card yet they have a card but they're sold out um uh, but luckily i talked to the one key team they said they'll send me a card anyway because they like me because i'm a, a youtuber so i'll get the one key light pretty soon so i can uh, show how it works oh uh, they are sold out for now but uh, hopefully they send me a card from China and it, hopefully it takes, uh, it, it comes here quicker than, uh, six weeks. Cause Oh my God, man, I ordered the classic from one key two months ago. I'm still waiting for it. It's taking forever from China. Holy shit, dude. But, uh, one key, keep in mind the one key is, uh, using the treasure software. It is hackable. Okay. And you're, you're thinking, Oh my God, hackable. It's not as bad as you think, right? It's only hackable if someone gets your physical device. It's not hackable re remotely. So if you bury it away, uh, if you store it securely somewhere that no one knows about, it's safe, all right? So um, the, the physical device, you should not carry it around. You should not move around with it. It's uh, it's still it's still hackable, technically. So I would say Tangem is a little bit better. Tangem is also five to six years old, a more reputable company. One key is really new. They've only been out for a year or two. Uh, but the plus side to one key is that they're invested in by Coinbase. So there, there's pros and cons to both. When is Jasmine releasing more tokens? <laughs> Picking Jasmine on Iskra. Is that a safe one? Ooh, Iskra. Is that a gaming pick? I can't remember. I, I looked it up, but uh, I think something threw me off. Something was weird about it. Is it a is it a, an anonymous team or what, what what's up with it? Nice Red Bull. Got the tangent. Nice dude. <laughs> Dumped all my trash coins. Uh got cast, but G foul pip, tenant ULX, and area. Now you have to pump my bags. Awesome. Yeah. Good bags. Pretty good. Uh, is hypercycle good? Yeah, hypercycle is pretty good. That's a new gem. I will be making a stream about that tomorrow or the next day. Hypercycle is decent. It's okay. Keep in mind, hypercycle only released uh one percent of the supply <laughs> to the public, <laughs> so it's really bad tokenomics. Ninety nine percent went to the team and the devs and the v the pre sale. Um, but fundamentally, it's okay. <laughs> the, the tokenomics sucks though. Hey, we got crypto John in the building. <laughs> I still get asked about why I sold my gala. The team literally minted a new token and added 15 billion to the supply. It's a money grab. My migrations are never good. I agree, Crypto John. Gala is a scam. It's a huge scam. It's the worst gaming pick ever. Glad you sold it. The tokenomics suck. The CEO sucks. It's a money grab, a cash grab. It's all marketing. It's all fake promises. It's all hype. And so, uh, yeah, it sucks. But it's fine, right? Hype and FOMO is good if it's a new crypto to go into a first bull run. So that's why I'm getting all these new gaming cryptos. My list today for these top five, they're all brand new picks. But yeah, what's up, man? What up, Crypto John? And welcome to the stream. Have you gotten any games for a living? You got to go grab a, a small bag. Go get some. 
Nelson, what's up, dude? Uh, think about Nurai. I'm sorry, uh, anonymous. Wait, team isn't doxed. Yeah, but it's not doxed. I, I don't think their team is doxed, right? Uh, I, sure, there's GitHub names, but are they actually real people? Can you confirm the people are real? Because for now, I can't tell if those are real people. If you like Pip, you'll definitely rate Ego, Paysinger, high rated release yesterday already on KuCoin. Yeah, I can't use KuCoin, dude. I'm in the USA and they, they banned me. So I'm <laughs> sorry, I can't, I can't buy it. Good to see you, CG. Awesome, man. Good to see you too, Crypto John. My man, what's up, man? What's up, dude? Jason Soto, what's going on? Pierre says, I love your stream, but sometimes you judge a fast some crypto just according to the chart. Fundamental analysis is also a strong uh, methodology. <laughs> I hear this every time. Oh, but Galaxy, you got to look past the chart, bro. The fundamentals, the partnerships, the technology, the white paper, the news, the big names. I'm sorry, man. A chart, if it, if it sucks, it sucks. I'll, I'll put it this way, Pierre. I recognize a pattern, okay? In the previous cryptos that pumped 100x, 200x, 300x, the Ethereum chart in the past, the Bitcoin chart in the past, BNB chart in the past, Certain cryptos will do 100x and certain cryptos will not do 100x. And so I just came to a point where I can see a pattern in the charts. And so the chart is an easy filter to filter out the scams. Those are huge scams out here that have terrible charts. They are rugged, pump and dumps. It means the teams don't believe in it. The VCs all dumped on you. The pre-sale people dumped on you. It's a cash grab. You're going to go homeless if you buy into cryptos with bad charts. You're in it for the price, right? So if you're in it for the price... You can't ignore the price history. It makes no sense. How are you going to ignore the price history, but say you buy crypto because you think it'll go up in price? If the price performance sucks, why are you going to buy it? It's like it's like going shopping for, uh, uh, you're going to go in a horse race, okay? And then you look at horses. You see that there's a horse with three legs, okay? It has a broken leg. And, and um, the, the salesman says, says, oh, bro, don't worry about the broken leg. This is actually a nice looking horse, all right? It's got, it's well-groomed. It's well-maintained. I got the saddle ready for you. He has a good name. He's ready to go into the race and blah, blah, blah. I ain't going to buy that horse because it has a broken fucking leg. It's not going to perform well in the horse race regardless. It has a broken leg. So it's just, I'm just saying, man, the chart says everything. Look no further. Yo, good bags, NP. Very nice. <laughs> Jake Gordon is fed up with H bar. <laughs> What's up, Marcoco? Yes, sir. What's up, man? What's going on? Yeah, we're gonna have a cruise eventually, dude. We're gonna we're gonna be rich. We're gonna be rich as shit in the next few years, Jason Soto. It's not even fair how early we are in crypto. We're in the bear market and we have the gems to become something. It's not even fair, dude. So I'm just buying up all these cryptos like crazy. I'm on a buying frenzy. It's not even fair, dude. It's just crazy. I'm still letting it sink in that I will be making a few million dollars in the next bull run. It's insane, dude. It is insane. I cannot believe it. It's just, it's, it's wild, dude. We're, we're in for a good ride, dude. And we're just getting started. For anyone new to crypto, just realize that right now we're in the bear market. We're getting started. This is the time to pack your bags, to get ready for the next bull run. We're going to be rich as shit in the next bull run. It's going to be crazy. Supple man is out of the world. No equal. <laughs> what? <laughs> Supple man. Dymo and Ator. Uh, yeah, they're decent. They're okay. What's up, Jadat? Will Yonatan give an update on the Satoshi account? <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Hey, very nice crypto. Trini got the classic and the tangent. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, get the hardware wallets. Can you do a video about your exit strategy for 2025? Oh, man, I, I should do a, The exit strategy will come when it comes, right? When the time comes, I'll do it for now. It's hard to predict, but... I do have some general plans, okay? I do have plans. <laughs> Hassan, Pep, everything 2.0. Raptor, Jesus, 1,000x. He went extinct for your sins. <laughs> Yo, it's time to pump it up. Yo, we got to get into the list. Holy crap, we're 45 minutes in. I haven't even gotten to the list yet. Oh my gosh, could you people slow down with the chats for a minute? I can't get through all the chats. I want to get through the gaming picks. Please make a chat if it's really important because this is not important. Here, Encencito says, who's going to give some cardboard I'm preparing to be homeless? <laughs> Hello, are we real crypto investors? Or are we just uh, goofing around? All right, we're just goofing around. That's fine. We can have fun. 
Cons are it takes five weeks to ship. Yeah, that's a con to the tangent. It takes forever to ship. Nakamoto Games is a top pick for Crypto Seth. Man, Crypto Seth, I really feel for the guy. He's trying to copy Crypto Gains. Uh, he's a, a, basically a clone, and he's pretty stupid. <laughs> I feel bad for him. Uh, just because we're friends doesn't mean we got to be robots and think about the same things. I'm in his Discord. Yes, we're good friends, everyone. Crypto John and I are in each other's Discord channels. Yes, we're in each other's Discord channels. We're friends. We can still get along, even though we disagree on some picks. That's okay. That's perfectly normal. Just because my favorite color is blue doesn't mean everyone else's favorite color has to be blue. You can have your own favorite color. It's not a big deal. Kevin Banks said you were selling half your cash, but my question is why. Why not sell it all by back in? In the next bear market, you could, but what if you sell it all too early and you're going to be like, oh shit, I sold it all and then it pumped more and then it never dipped again. So I don't know, man. You could do it, but are you a genius? I'm not a genius, so I, I don't know, man. Lee the Captain Crypto YouTuber is bullish on the top 50 coins. <laughs> Lee the Captain. Hey, CG, where do we find the Tangem promo code? Right here. It's Galaxy, you see on the screen, 10% off promo code Galaxy right there, uh, Daniel Volt. That is the code. Pump the like at least 169. Let's go hit the like button. <laughs> Water says, TG, I'm tired of you saying G fell to a dollar. That's FUD. I think it can go way higher. Yes. <laughs> One key mini not available on Amazon. Oh, shit. Did they sell out? Because I just bought it. Dude, I'm saying, you people, you got to go buy the hardware wallets ASAP. They're all selling out. They're selling out on Amazon. They're selling out on a website. Uh, I bought the One Key Mini a few weeks ago. I would not be surprised if they already sold out. Dude, you got y'all got to go buy the crypto hardware wallets ASAP because they're all selling out. Go to the main website. Go to onekey.com. Uh, get it from the official site. But otherwise, yeah, man, it, it's they're, they're selling out, dude. H-Bar and Bitcoin. Oh, I'm not going to go there, man. H-Bar sucks, dude. What's up, Cody Hurst? <laughs> David Kyer says, I'm strapping myself to my bed so I don't buy this Casper green candle. <laughs> CG, my favorite dude. Thanks again for the streams. Thank you, sir. Very much. Thank you. Uh, check it out. Dogecoin, I think it's good. Phantom, I think, is a scam. Polygon is pretty decent. Chillas is okay. Sandbox is a scam. More if you check the charts the last four to eight months, they pump hard. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care, bro. Volcon, you, the, the whole point of this channel, if you're new here, we get we get new cryptos that actually have a, a 200x potential. But with those big uh, blue chips you mentioned, the big big market caps, you're looking at like a, a 5x return, 10x, maybe 20x if you're lucky, but we're actually going for uh, a 200x is out here. And only the new cryptos will do that. What's up, people? What's going on? So thankful I found this channel. Thank you, Crypto John. Yeah, shout out to Crypto John. <laughs> Crypto John, thank you very much. I think if it were not for you, people would not find me because you talk about Caspa, and now people find me because I also talk about Caspa. So thank you, Crypto John, for uh, bringing people to my channel. And I, I, I think I bring people to your channel too, maybe because uh, you talk about Caspa. I also talk about Caspa. So we bring people to each other's channels. So it's, it's good, man. FX that one is only on Uniswap. Well, then it's a scam. <laughs> Yo, yes, we got to get CG and Crypto John on a, on a joint video. We just have really conflicting schedules because he works a lot. I work a lot. We have different time schedules. Uh, we have other priorities. Man, we, we're, we're trying to make it work, though. We'll, 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 we'll find a day for sure, man, to get a live stream going on. We can talk about Jasmine. I mean, Caspa. We'll talk about Caspa for sure. Uh, CG, that three-legged horse has great partners. <laughs> yes, but the three-legged horse has friends in the stable next to it. It has partners. It has owners. <laughs> nice, Ashu. Very good. Making a few million dollars is fun. Ten million club. Let's go, man. Yes. Yo, wham. Pretty good bags, dude. Pretty good. I think Tau and A0 are decent. They're big market caps, but... Uh, they're good picks, nonetheless. A zero and tower are pretty good. They're just they're too expensive for my liking, but they're not bad, right? They're fine. Will you keep your Discord during the bull run? What if big YouTubers try to join to know what the strategy is? Um, well, they can join, dude. In the bull run, John Cast, my Discord and Patreon prices are going to go up because um, 
it, it, I'm keeping the prices low for now because we're in the bear market. But when the when the bull run comes, my Patreon prices are going to be way higher. Like I think in 2025, the premium tier will probably be 50 a month. Uh, VIP tier could be 150 a month, and then whale could be a thousand a month. But for now, they're cheap because it's the bear market. I understand we're strapped for cash, so for now, the cheap the the, the, the cheaper prices are what they are. But I'm saying, people, if you're if you're wondering about the Patreon, I'm just saying, join now before the bull run. Join now before next week. I keep upping the prices on all these tiers by about ten dollars each month. VIP tier is going up pretty soon uh, in terms of price. So if you join now, you will be grandfathered in forever at these prices. So if you join VIP now at fifty nine bucks a month, you won't be paying uh, uh ninety nine bucks a month next year when more people come to the channel, more people come to the Patreon. I want to keep the numbers low in the group so that we can uh, have more. Uh, I can focus more and, and dedicate my time and attention to the people there. So I would recommend joining sooner rather than later. Before the prices go up, <laughs> I left a big rant about H-Bar on Jake Gordon's latest video. He swears H-Bar is the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dude. I love crypto YouTube. It's so fun, man. It's just hilarious, right? I like watching Jake Gordon, Jerry Banfield, Joe Paris, just to see what's up. Supple man, Crypto Seth. There's so many clowns out here who just want to be broke and homeless. I don't even feel bad for them. Like I used to feel bad for people who who lose money on H bar and these worst picks ever. And now I just don't feel bad anymore because screw it, man. They can lose money if they want. Yo, Cedric with the four ninety nine super chat. <laughs> Thank you very very much. All right, with that super chat coming in through, let's get to the top picks for the stream today. Holy crap, man! Did fifty minutes. Okay, here we go. Here's Crypto Galaxy's top five gaming cryptos to buy now and become the next crypto millionaire because gaming cryptos are inherently going to be riskier than, you know, layer ones like Caspa. The budget for today's uh, picks are, are is smaller, 500 bucks. So if I had 500 bucks today to go, out, to go buy five gaming coins, this is how I would divvy it up. So as you can tell, the investment for games for a living I have at 80% of the budget, 400 bucks. It's a lot safer. This one I feel like is guaranteed to do 100x in the next bull run. It has a legit team, Trip Hawkins, Mantle Sort, and also the guy from Netflix, the guy from Electronic Arts, the guy from Activision Blizzard, the guy from King, the guy who made Candy Crush, the guy who made FIFA. Dude, these are big names in uh, gaming space, and they... We, we need Web3 gaming, right? I'm very, very bullish on Web3 gaming. I know that the future of gaming is Web3 because of NFTs, the blockchain, the microtransactions, uh, the gaming shops. It is the future, right? If you look at FIFA, they have a really good monetary scheme where you have to pay money to buy packs. And if you look at apps on the App Store, like Candy Crush or Medieval Games or wh whatever these uh, War of Clans, Clash of Titans, whatever the hell they name the, the shit these days, you have to pay to upgrade your land. You have to pay to build your army. A lot of microtransactions. So I think that Web3 and crypto gaming is going to be actually legit uh, in the future. But we're, we're so early into uh, crypto gaming investments that these are all super speculative, right? Because gaming cryptos have only been around for uh, since about 2017, 2018, right? Because the first gaming cryptos we saw were uh, Axie, Decentraland, Engine, Alluvium, Gala. They're okay, but they're also not perfect, right? Um, what Games for a Living is doing is that they're trying to become the the Steam or the Epic Games, like an actual gaming platform for all people to use with Web3. So there's a huge upside in this one. Games for a Living could be the world's greatest Web3 gaming crypto forever. It's possible. I don't know if it is, but this could be the one because all the other gaming cryptos I've seen have all been pump and dumps. They all failed. They don't have massive crypto user adoption. GFAL is going for Web2 gaming crypto or gaming adoption. They're targeting Web2 players. They go to big events. They were in San Francisco a couple months ago. They were in uh, Valencia, Spain this past weekend for a giant gaming conference. Games for a living. You don't hear about it because they don't target crypto investors, which makes sense. Because us crypto investors, they know that we're going to be pumping and dumping their crypto in the next bull run. Games for a living does not want that. So um, Games for a living team, if you're listening to this, I'm sorry that I'm promoting Games for a Living to be bought right now. I'm sorry. I understand that we're going to be pumping and dumping your crypto in the next bull run. I'm sorry, but I see a good opportunity. I cannot pass on it. It's super cheap. Market cap is only 11 million. Fully diluted, 150 million. In the next bull run, in 25, 
the fully diluted, um, the circulating supply will be about 40, 45%. So assume today's market cap is about half of 150 million. Assume it, okay? Because uh, before you say the tokenomics suck, just assume the market cap today is technically 75-ish million. So it's still under 100 million. It's still cheap. The team is legit. They're going for great crypto web three adoption. I believe that this is the gaming is the best narrative behind layer one. So this could do a, a 3000 X return like gala or even more, right? Cause games for a living, not only is it better in, in, in terms of an investment than gala because it's new, it's cheap. Um, it's going to be the new hype, the new FOMO games for a living actually has better uh, a better platform than gala they have an actual software you can download they're on the ios store they're on the android store they're coming out to xbox and playstation so g file looking decent i would recommend go grab a small bag like this is g file so now, so far for now is and has been my number two most bullish altcoin behind caspa uh for the past three to four months i first bought games for a living at uh, half a penny at the bottom. Like we, dude, my group, we bought GFAL at the dead ass bottom. Man, we got in at half a penny. We're up 400%. This is crazy. Um, I'm letting my bag ride. I might buy some more if there's dips. I think it's on a bit of a dip right now. It's coming down, but it's very early. The big YouTube channels will be for sure promoting this Um, just because of how good it is, right? GFAL does not pay for marketing. Gala, on the other hand, has been known to pay for marketing. So if you hear about games for a living, uh, if you hear bullish news, it's because the other YouTube channels or the influencers are starting to see it's a good pick regardless of being paid for it. Which, by the way, if you're new to my channel, I don't get paid to show any crypto. I never have been and I never will. I got a few emails today from people saying, oh, uh, hello, sir, Crypto Galaxy. Could you please promote an advertisement on your stream about our crypto? And I was like, you know what I said to that? I was like, eh, you get can. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not going to promote any stupid cryptos. I only promote stuff I invest in and that I buy in. So G fell looking pretty good, very cheap. You got to do more research. Go to the website. Look at the team. Uh, look at the chart. I'll, I'll pull up the G file chart real quick just to explain because my first and foremost and most important filter for any crypto is the chart. If it has a bad chart, it's a scam. But the G file chart looking really good. This is bullish. I first was buying in at half a penny because I saw here a double bottom. I was like, wow, why do you know? Double bottom. The only way is up because this is a bullish pick, right? It ain't going to dump anymore. And my gut feeling was right. I saw the double bottom right here, went in super heavy. Uh, shout out to everyone else on my Patreon and my Discord. We all got in very early to GFAL and now we're up 3X right now and it's going to go more, right? Uh, people are still buying GFAL as we, as we speak in our group. Like if you're not content with your bags, keep topping it up. This is still brand new and early. It has potential to list on bigger exchanges. It's only BitMart, Maxi, and BitGet right now. These are super sketch. Nobody likes to use that crap. So if you put in the, the hassle and the effort to buy now before everyone else buys on Coinbase and Binance, you're super early. So uh, I have a good feeling Games for a Living could list on Coinbase, could list on Binance. They're in direct contact with Binance as uh, as of right now. And they also had a, a, a BNB chain, uh, I think a Twitter space or an AMA. The other day, so very active team, bullish chart. Uh, this is getting ready to fly. Okay, <clears throat> second pick, Wag Me Games. Also, another really bullish pick. I don't actually hold any, but I still think it's bullish. I recommend it if you are able to buy it. The only problem with Wag Me Games is that it's not on Maxi. It's not on PancakeSwap. I hate Uniswap, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not on any of these other exchanges. But if you use Uniswap, go ahead and grab a small bag if you want. I don't actually have any, just to be honest. I'm just... I think it's pretty bullish, though. I would go buy some now. It's already pumping. Uh, Wagon Games was first brought to my channel way back here. Uh, wow, now it's up 3x. Damn, I missed the bottom. But I don't care, man. It's still pretty cheap. Market cap is $17 million and the fully diluted is $20 million. So it's very cheap. This is actually a cheaper fully diluted market cap than GFAL. Uh, Wagon Games, I believe, has a pretty... It has a docs team. has a legit working uh, product... It's okay, right? The, the chart's pretty bullish. I think it's holding a good floor. It's been out since uh, about a year ago, and it's pumping. So get on the train now before it's too late. I would just grab a small bag, right? I would only do 40 bucks. I understand the Uniswap fees kind of suck, so you might be looking at like 15 bucks, $15 of Uniswap gas fees. So what I would recommend to do that I'm thinking of doing, because 
The reason I like using Mexi to buy these gaming picks and the cryptos in general, the new gems, is on Mexi, you can buy Uniswap tokens without paying gas fees because on Mexi, the, the, the trading fees are dirt cheap. So uh, I would recommend sign up for BitMart. I don't recommend any of these others like XT, BitForex, whatever else. I don't recommend those uh, because they don't list many cryptos. But BitMart is really good. BitMart also has uh, GFAL listed so with bitmart you can also buy new gems later in the in the future so i'm still looking at signing up for bitmart uh, i think it's an okay exchange i would recommend this if you want to bypass the uh, gas fee so if you're wondering where to buy uniswap or bitmart if you use bitmart make sure to use a vpn in case they try to block your location also never sign up with your phone number on exchange on, on unregulated exchanges always sign up with your email because they can track your location with the phone number your, they can track your country, and also the SMS authentication is sometimes really buggy. You might not get the text confirmation code, which means you cannot actually get any of your crypto. So always use an email when you sign up for BitMart, Maxi, BitGet, whatever other sketchy exchange. Only use your phone number to sign up for exchanges if it's a, a KYC regulated exchange that you use for fiat on-ramping. That's the only time you should use your phone number to sign up. But man, chart looking bullish. This thing is pumping. And you know me. I love my, uh, <clears throat> I have my philosophy of the bullish chart principle. This checks the box. And it's also very cheap. It has a docs team. Uh, let's go take a quick look at it. What does this, what does this say? Uh, the battle for knife has begun during the test flight. Uh, wag me defense. Oh, wow. They have an actual game on the, uh, on the phone. That's pretty good. They have a working game, I believe. Oh, coming soon. Okay. So it's not out yet, but, um, Powered and tradable soon on GameStop. Wow, that's pretty good. All right, so it's coming soon to the Play Store, to the App Store. It's all hype, it looks like. It's not actually released, but... Oh, wow, check this out. The team has experience with Call of Duty, Apex, Battlefield, FIFA, Madden, Fight Club, EA, Bungie, PlayStation, Apple. Is that legit? I don't know. You got to do more research on it. Wag Me Games is still a really... Brand new pick to my radar. I'm still doing more research on it. I got to look into it. But if you're bored, go ahead and check out the team. Uh, I, I do trust it, though, right? If, the, if they're saying the team has these exper experiences, it, it's got to have some legitimacy to, right, to them, right? At, at least they're doxxed, right? At least they're public. And for anyone wondering, what does doxxed mean? It's just slang for being a documented person, right? You're not anonymous. Uh, oh, wow. Here, we can check out some gameplay footage. Let's go see. You can't hear it, but you can still just watch it. What it does. Yeah, it looks pretty fun. I mean, it's another generic game, but like it passes, right? Uh, I noticed none of these games are like, none of them are actually like really unique. They're all, it, it's a generic game, you know, but it, it looks decent, right? So they're actually putting in some effort into it. And they're, the main thing is that they go for the adoption. If, if, if people will play it, that's bullish for the crypto. I think it can pump. They will pump our bags. Uh, defend your towers. You're 20, 30, 30, 22. Yada, yada, whatever. World's first fiat to NFT. Wow. The world's first fiat to NFT gaming app. Launching on Google and App Store, Play Store. Uh, user will be able to purchase in-game assets using uh, a double click of their phone, not requiring any crypto to transact. Damn, dude, that's bullish, dude. If they can have a fiat on-ramp in the app and also have crypto in the app too, that's going to be easy for people to buy. So we could get some FOMO for this. Digital collectible cards owned by the users. Yeah, that's really good. This is exactly what gaming needs in Web3 Crypto is actual NFTs that people can own, own their assets and trade them on a local gaming marketplace for, for these games. It makes it way more fun. I would play more video games if they had uh, working NFTs. So that, that's good. So at, for a gaming project, this has good fundamentals. Uh, what else do they have? PvP battles, asset interoperability. The characters you have collected in the future franchise as well as different games. Dang. So they can actually move the assets and characters cross game. That's pretty cool. Uh, sustainable business model. Uh, they're going for Google marketing and they're going for. Yes, dude. See, this is going to get people to FOMO the crypto microtransactions. That's what we want to see. 
and make swaps in the app. Download anywhere. So I can see this getting massively adopted. It's possible, right? Chart looking good. Team is legit. And looks like they have a strategy to get people to actually use it. So I would recommend. I don't have any, but now that I <laughs> saw all that stuff, I want to go buy some. So I just, I, just, I just need to go sign up for BitMart and stop being lazy. But I would recommend... Grab a small bag of Wagmi games, get like 50 bucks, 100 bucks, maybe 40 bucks, just a small amount. Definitely get more G-File than Wagmi games because G-File is way more proven and legit, but Wagmi games is looking like a good number two contender, so it's decent. <clears throat> uh, number three is Lit Labs. I had this on the back burner for a while, but now that Lit Labs' chart has been turning a little more bullish, it, it's curving up ways. I hope that this is going to be forming a new cup and handle. I don't know if it will. It may, it may not. So the potential is there. It's a potential 100X gem. We'll see what happens. Uh, the price is only down 37% from all-time highs. That's very strong because if the crypto goes down more than 80% from the all-time highs, I'm calling it a scam. It would suck. So the, the chart looking good. It's a new chart. It's only down 37%. Uh, you can buy it on PancakeSwap, BitGet, or Mexi. I do recommend Mexi. I do have some. I have it on Mexi because I use Mexi the most. It's a great exchange that has most of the gems listed. We recommend uh, Mexi or use PancakeSwap. Either is fine. And for Lit Labs, the market cap is unknown on CMC. I don't know what's circulating, but the fully diluted is only 18 mil. So it's very cheap. Uh, it's way cheaper than, you know, GFAL. A little bit cheaper than Wagme games. I don't know the circulation, but the, the fully diluted market cap is very low. The chart, it, it has potential, right? Because with Wagme games, it already pumped a little bit. I would say Lit Lab Games is a, a better entry. Like Lit Lab Games is a better entry. Uh, speaking in terms of price, it's better than GFAL and uh, Wagme because Lit Labs is basically at the bottom, all right? Either you're going to get dumped on or you're going to be a genius and it's going to go up. So we'll see. I have a small bag. I'm going to see what happens. It has potential. Very risky, but we'll see. Um, this going to be lit, dude. That's lit. I love I love the word lit. So this was meant for me. Uh, welcome to the Win to Earn era. Lit Labs is a AAA publisher released uh, Cyber Titans. It's the first video game backed by blockchain technology and token-based deflationary economy. Uh, play Cyber Titans? Can you actually get it? It's available on Windows and Mac OS. Nice, dude. The game's working. What else do they have? Auto Chess, Auto Chess Experience. Recruit your Titans. Recruit your Titans. Uh, Cyber Titans. Let's see the trailer. How's this look? Yeah, it looks decent. I mean, it looks like any other video game, right? <laughs> uh, Web3 Solutions, we develop our own technology. Loot Lab Wallet, uh, token, got some partners. Oh, but the partnerships. <laughs> the partners. I'm triggered. Screw the partners. No one cares about partners. Where's the team? Is the team on here? I believe the team is doxed. I can't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. Otherwise, I wouldn't have it on here. <clears throat> is it in a white paper? Oh, yeah, there it, is. there it was. I saw it. Uh, yeah, the team is public. You got to just look them up. They are public, though. I, I remember. They're, I'm pretty sure these are public. I, I, I thought the team was just kind of iffy. Um, I believe the Wagman Games has a better team. GFAL for sure has the best team. So, you know, it's new. It's a risky pick. I would just grab a small bag. I have a little bit. We'll see what happens. Could do a 200x. Could not. Could go to zero. But I don't care, man. <laughs> With 30 bucks, if we hit a... Hold on. Let's go through the price... Uh, Estimated calculation profits, all right, with uh, Lit Labs. If this does a 3,000x, like Gala, on 30 bucks, looking at $90,000. That's crazy. It's possible, because Gala did a 3,000x from the launch. Uh, the other one, Wagme Games, 40 bucks. If that does 3,000x, could make 120 grand. You could, right? I'm just saying. Just The amount of money lost... Potentially, I don't care about it, but for the amount of money to be gained is insane. So you could make a hundred grand on either of these picks. So 
I know Gala did 3,000 X last bull run. I'm not going to miss the next one. I'm going to throw 30, 40, 50 bucks into all the gaming cryptos. One of them will do a 3,000 X and I'll be like, oh, hallelujah. You know, live in La Vida Loca. I'm going to have a party with my, my, uh, my hundred grand. <laughs> so looking okay, right? Just grab a small bag. They have potential, right? They're new cryptos. Uh, fourth one I just found recently. Shout out to Phil M. Thanks for sharing this one, bro. Medieval Empires. Uh, chart looking pretty iffy. It's crappy. Like it's on thin ice because the price is down 81%. That's at like my cutoff point for being a, a crappy pick. So uh, if this is the bottom, if it starts curving up again, I would be very bullish on this. But for now, I don't know. I only have a very small micro bag of it. Either this is the bottom and I'll be a genius or it's going to rug me and it goes to zero. But I don't care because I only have like 20 bucks in it. So we'll see. I have a very small bag of it. Has potential. The team for this one is insanely good. Like the team for medieval games, I would rank uh, number two behind g -Fowl. Like g -Fowl has the best team. Medieval games is number two. Uh, what was the other one? Wag Me Games, number three. Lit Labs, probably at number four. What? The website doesn't even load? Bruh, you serious? Scam. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not a scam. It's not a scam yet. Hold on. Medieval Empire uh, crypto team. The team was on here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Morris Vots, the chief technology officer. I believe this guy had a good history. He, yes, dude. So the guy who founded this crypto was the studio technical lead at King. And if you don't know King, King is the company that made Candy Crush and a whole bunch of other notable games. So let's see. King Games. Uh, Candy Crush. Yeah, that's their main one is Candy Crush. What else do they have? It's basically Candy Crush. But Candy Crush is extremely popular. Like it was a big success. So. Um, if they make another big success with Empire Medieval Games, then cool, man. Then they could actually go somewhere. So we'll see. They have the Candy Crush devs. Good team. Uh, downside is that obviously the, 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 the chart is dumping. So I'm not buying a lot of it. It's very iffy. The fully diluted market cap is only 13 million. So pretty good tokenomics, right? It's very cheap. Uh, market cap's about 1 million. So it has potential. I would just say grab a really small bag of it, like 15 bucks, not too much. And then last but not least, Abyss World, AWT. I think this one has actually the most bullish chart. So let's see, how's uh, AWT looking? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pumping. I, I get it's on a short-term uh, dip right now, so we'll see. I think it's, I think it's just a short-term correction because we're in the bear market. Everyone wants profits. In general, the chart's pretty bullish because it's still pumping up from the time of, of listing on Coin Market Cap. <clears throat> uh, you can also get it on Mexi. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. You can also get um, you can get Medieval Games also on Mexi. All right, so you can get Medieval Games on Mexi. Abyss World is on Mexi too, or BitGet if you use BitGet. Uh, so here's Abyss World Market Cap fully diluted is 120 mil, so pretty expensive in comparison. However, has a bullish chart, so chart looking decent, could pump a lot. And let's go take a look at the, the game and the team. Where's the thing? Abyss World. Looks like, um, what do you call that game? Um, I can't remember. Not Assassin. Is it, a, it looks like Assassin's Creed? Or uh, what's the other game that I'm thinking? What, what do you think it looks like? What, what's that game? Star, uh, what, what's the name of that game? There's like a, uh, uh, a third person video game that you can like travel the world. It's like a medieval looking thing. Of this world. It looks fun though. Oh, third person RPG game. It looks fun. Uh, the team is doxxed. They're not like that great. It's owned by another company, Metagame Industries. So it could be a quick pump and dump, but a pump and dump nonetheless. So it's another decent pick. I will say this, all right, about gaming cryptos, because people ask me, you know, hey, Galaxy, what's the difference between uh, a gaming crypto that is a one off game versus another crypto that has, you know, multiple games versus a crypto that has its own blockchain? So, the best cryptos for gaming is going to be the one that is uh, its own system, like its own downloadable platform, right? Like Steam, Epic Games, something that hosts all the games is actually the best fundamental. That's why I like GFAL because they have a 
downloadable application, and they're going to allow other people to build games on GFAL. That's a good fundamental. But Abyss World is actually, it's one of the best pumping fundamentals for gaming coins, but it's the worst long-term, uh, uh, you know, withstanding fundamental because a single singular one type of game that's tied to one crypto, it always does a pump and dump, right? The price goes straight up and then comes straight back down because these games that are just one single game, they're, uh, it's a fad. It's a phase. People play it and then people will quit and they will be done with the game. So uh, I, I think Medieval Empires was also a one-off game, but Wag Me Games and Lit Labs and GFAL, I believe these three are all actual platforms to have multiple games. So that's a good thing. But with these two, if they're one-off games, it's super risky, but you can still make a short-term uh, pump and dump with these types of cryptos. So uh, as, as, as far as like longevity goes for a fundamental and a gaming coin, these are probably better, but these are these are still good short term pumps nonetheless. So we'll we'll see. Doesn't hurt to throw in 10, 15, 20 bucks in each one. Uh see 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 what does a thousand X. Obviously, I recommend just going heavy as to G file. That's the best one. It's the safest. It has all the good fundamentals. It's cheap, a good team, a good chart. Everything's going great for G file. But all these other four ones, like you saw, some things are good, some things are great. It, I think these could pump, but also some things look like shit. So uh, take it as it is, just throwing like a little bit of money. I do have some honorable mentions on here. Some are iffy, some are okay. The charts are decent. Uh, the teams for all of these are doxxed because that's an automatic red flag if they're not doxxed. And then I have here on the scams list, uh, Nakamoto Games is a scam. Gala is a scam. Axie is a scam. Alluvium is a scam. Engine sucks. Uh, these cryptos are all new cryptos, right? You got to get the new cryptos before they go in the first bull run. That's when they pump the most. But this old shit, Axie Gala, Alluvium Engine, they're so old. They came out in 2021, 2020. Everyone knows about them. They're already listed on Coinbase, Binance. No one's going to pump those anymore. So those are my five picks. Let me know in the chat. What do you think about these gaming cryptos? Which one is your favorite? What are you most bullish on? And if you share any cryptos, please give me a reason why it's bullish. I don't have time to check every single crypto. So please tell me why it's bullish. Give a good reason. Then I'll consider it. But if you just say, hey, Galaxy, go look at blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, please tell me why do you like the crypto so I can actually uh, give a consideration. So. What's up, people? Uh, GFAL, massive team, low market cap. Not on big exchanges. Lower supply than Megala Games. Definitely a gem. Real talk. Yeah, that's real talk. Absolutely. Um, out of all that, I would say the uh, the supply number doesn't matter, but it is true. It's not yet on big exchanges. That's very bullish. Uh, it does have a good team, and it's a low market cap. You are absolutely correct with those facts. Absolutely. What rhymes with Rectum? It's launched. It's called... <laughs> what? <laughs> Said, bro please tell me why i should check your crypto why is it bullish what's good about it why is it a gem what makes it better than games for a living what's up with it if you if you say just go check it out i'm not going to check it out same with candy pocket please give me a reason why is it good see to your channel so much fun and you're great you should do a tv on some shows or presenting and talk with some celebrities <laughs> awesome thanks bro appreciate it uh what celebrities are there right uh hopefully they can invite me onto like uh the crypto shark tank or hello or uh, hourglass wait i want to go on some crypto shows that'll be fun man so if anyone has the connections let them know crypto galaxy is looking <laughs> jerry banfield reviewed cast ball. we're all going to become homeless <laughs> gg having fun and learning smash the like button only 67 times yes please everyone please smash the like button oh my god i swear if there's like no likes on the video i'll be saying what the hell man oh my god we only got 79 likes on the video <laughs> Oh my God, you had so much time to hit the like button. Why haven't you done it? <laughs> please hit the like button, support the channel, support the video. I do this for free. So please hit the like button. It's all I ask of you. Is it so hard to do? Hit the like button, please. Let's go pump it up in here. Let's get up to 100 likes. Smash up the like button. Sounds good. Yeah, man. Crypto John, let me know. When are you free, sir? Let me know. Wrapped Pepe 2.0 is the next cast <laughs> When I watched your first stream, I was like, 50 euros for VIP? Fuck that. But now I'm hooked, and I'm going to grab VIP tomorrow. Off to bed. Cheers, man. Awesome, dude. Yeah, I recommend hop on the VIP tier. Get all the buy signals, everything that I have. Check out my whole portfolio. Join our chat room. Learn everything, dude. VIP tier will pay itself off very soon. It's a great tier to be on. It's very popular. Man, it's it's selling out quick, right? Like The, the VIP tier price is going up 
uh, indefinitely. It's always going to go up in the price. So I recommend if you're on the fence about VIP, join sooner rather than later because you're going to wake up one day to see that VIP tier has been raised to 69 bucks a month from 59 And if you join now, you will be grandfathered in at the current price forever in 2023, 2024, and 2025, and every year after that. But if you join... Uh, later in a few months from now, VIP tier could be 69 bucks a month, 79 bucks a month. The price going up. Rahul says, love from India. Good video and love your video. More information rather than just shit. Just share a coin from AI, if any. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for the kind words. The only AI coin I recommend is Image Generation AI. That's it. Ticker is IMGNAI. How will Skid Row support so many homeless people after Jasmine is done with them? <laughs> Yo, let's go. Please hit the like button. We're not even at 100 yet. We're only at 98. Please, could you hit the like button? I asked you to hit the like button, and uh, only 20 people did it? Come on, man. This lap is for you who did not hit the like button. And this kick is for other, the other person who didn't hit the like button. Could you please hit the like button and support the video? Get or... the fuck out of here! <laughs> Thank you very much. Go ahead. Hit the like button. I'm tired of slapping people. I want to be nice. My therapist tells me, Galaxy, you got to be nicer to people. Why do you just keep slapping everyone? I'm sorry, man. But people don't hit the like button and I get triggered. <laughs> so could you please smash the like? Jerry Banfield is a turd burglar. <laughs> Ash says, from all the scam, ISOs, quant, XRP, blah, 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 blah. which in your opinion is the least worst? Absolute. Okay, so... Good question. The best one is Quant. I actually think Quant is decent. I think it can break all-time highs and pump the most. Quant is definitely the best pick on the list. It's okay. Um, my number two is going to be XDC because it's also pretty new. It has a decent-looking chart. All right, so number one, Quant. Number two, XDC. Uh, number three, Cardano. Number four, XRP. Number five, uh, man, this is so hard to do. I hate them so much. Uh, number five, H bar, number six, uh, XLM and number seven, IOTA. Ah, uh, it's just, it's just hard. It hurts me to say that H bar is better than XLM, but I think it is. So, uh, it hurts to say it, but it is, but yeah, the, the only good picks on there is quant. Uh, maybe XDC has potential, but I, I, I think quant's pretty good. It's, it's the best one on the list. You mentioned PGP. It showed you last week. Yeah, it was showed to me last week. I'm still keeping an eye on it. It's it's decent, right? It's on the honorable uh, mentions. So how are we looking at for likes? We got 106. Yo, let's go. Can we please get 125 like buttons? Please hit the like button. Uh, research Pip has connections. I'm convinced it's going to list on Binance for the bull run. I agree. Yes. Pips could get listed on Binance and Coinbase because Binance said to list a crypto, it has to have a lot of users. Pip already has a half million users signed up uh, on the waiting list to get on the Pure Money app. So the potential for mass adoption is there, the big user base. So I think Pip will list on Binance. The chief strategy officer at Binance also said he already has been buying Pip. He's an investor. Binance is incubating in Pip. Dude, there's so many big connections to, from Binance to Pip. It's not even, it's not even funny. Dude. It's, it's crazy how cheap Pip is. It, it could easily list. Carl the Moon's project, medieval Emp and Casta, the guy behind the guy never behind his projects. What? F, I use my phone number on Maxi. What now? <laughs> um, you just make a new account, bro. That's it. Just make a new account, transfer your money. That's it. Hey, use I use my phone on Maxi. That's fine. You can use your phone on Maxi. I use my phone too. Just don't use your phone number to sign up because then they get your area code. Pray for a raptor, Jesus. <laughs> um, JT, could you specify which crypto? Because you say the team, but I don't know which uh, which crypto I, I, it was. I don't know. People from BitMart team are behind Labs Group while you're on it. You said Labs Group is a scam. Yeah, Labs Group sucks, dude. But we love scams. We love new scams. <laughs> Let Labs docs. Yeah, thank you, Phil, for the for the confirmation. Thank you, sir. Where do you safely store these tokens? CG. Yo, good question. So, um, I have a lot of these listed. On, these are a lot of these are on the Tangem. Um, not a Biz World, but you can put 
GFAL is a BNB chain token. You can put it on Tanjum. Use my code right here, Galaxy. Get 10% off. I have all my GFAL on Tanjum. You can also put... For these other ones, if they're Ethereum tokens or BNB chain tokens, which I believe they are, you can just add them to Tanjum as a custom token. A custom BNB chain or Ethereum chain token. You can add these all to Tanjum. Except for Abyss World, I believe you cannot. Where to buy these? Uh, recommend Mexi. Mexi has most of these cryptos, all of them except for um, except for Wagme games. You can get Wagme games on Uniswap, but most of these are on Uniswap, PancakeSwap, or Mexi. Uh, Cal L, if you ever have this question again, where can I buy these? All you have to do is go to Coin Market Cap, search your crypto, come over to click on the markets, and you can see which exchanges it's listed on. My favorite is Mexi. I recommend Mexi. Uh, for some of these other ones, you can also use Uniswap or PancakeSwap. Uh, Medicaid had a 70% pre-allocation in the pre-sale and the chart is dumping. So I think the tokenomics are really bad. I think it's a, I think it's a scam, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it has potential. I just think it sucks. There are two kinds of ships, a sinking ship and a partnership. <laughs> Yes, Sean Falter. That's absolutely correct, sir. And also, welcome to the Patreon, bro. I know that you just joined recently. What's up, man? Welcome, bro. <clears throat> RuneScape? I don't know. Just bought 11 million cash. Bought it to make me a whale. Holy shit, dude. You guys should get 11 million. Yeah, you're a whale. Awesome, dude. Yeah, big baller. Hello. Jiggy just upgraded to VIP on the Patreon. Hey. But Jiggy says, don't tell the wife. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, don't tell the wife. You know, um, after you make a lot of money in the next bull run, you can just buy another wife. You can buy some. You can buy like 20 wives in the next bull run. So you'll be fine. Yo, what's up? To the moon. I like your name. Yo, you hate ERC-20 tokens? Yeah, just use Mexi if you hate it. Just use Mexi. Gaspa King is pumping our bags. Yeah, he's going to pump our bags. Raptor Jesus will become a top 10. <laughs> Why Hello not on the list? Uh, this is a gaming crypto list. Is Hello Gaming? I thought that they're a TV show. Thoughts on Microvision Chain? I could not find much information on the team. They could be doxxed. I don't know. Could you please like share me some information about the Microvision Chain team? I couldn't find much info about them. Uh, I will go look real quick because I'm curious. How's the chart? Oh, my God. Where is it? Multi. Oh, sorry. Micro vision. Not multi vision. Um, I don't know, man. It's pretty iffy. It's only on safe trade. I would wait for this to get listed on like Mexi or TXBit. Then I would be bullish. But for now, it's uh, it's very risky. What up, Genus? Hi, CG, and appreciate uh, liked and appreciate your crypto view to become awesome, man. What's up, dude? CG, what's the vesting schedule for Pip? Is there more tokens getting released? Oh yeah, there's more tokens being released. I actually like the Pip tokenomics. Like I know that tokenomics for every crypto sucks, but Pip has allocated forty percent as rewards for just using Pip, which is great because forty percent rewards all goes to the community and the public. So we have a huge allocation of PIP that goes to the public, like retail investors like you and I. And the other um, 40 or 50% of PIP tokens have all been pre-allocated to Coinbase, Binance, uh, Satoshi Nakamoto, a.k.a. his name is David Chaum. I call him Satoshi Nakamoto, but I'm just saying the other 50% has been pre-allocated to more trustworthy um, investors and, and Coinbase. So I, I, I trust those investors. Cash one G follow the real deal. I bought into Cosan Game Off Multiverse platform. See what it does. Uh, all right, dude. We're gonna go see. Actually, no, we're not gonna go see. That doesn't sound bad. Sounds like a scam. I'm sorry. It sounds terrible. Vincent says, uh, it's a scaling solution. L2 just launched over a million TPS tech tom. All right, dude. We're gonna go check out and see tech tom. Oh. Um. Bro, this is only on Uniswap. Oh my God, Vincent King. 
Who's going to pump your bags? This is not on any central exchanges. Dude, we need central exchange listings for people to pump our bags. But this shit is only on Uniswap. I'm sorry, man. Um, now, why is that important? Because when you're only on a decentralized exchange, it's very few people that use DEXs. I know DEXs are great. Don't get me wrong. I love decentralized exchanges. I support them fully. I believe they're better than central exchanges. But try telling that to the masses of people, the 99% of retail investors that are lazy, dumb, or stupid. They're not going to use Uniswap. So even though it's great, you can have the greatest technology, but if no one is using it, who's going to pump your bags? There's only very few traders that use only Uniswap. So I'm saying, man, if you're going for uh, a big pumps, you got to be listed on at least one central exchange. For me personally, it's a scam. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass on it, but uh, who knows? They could turn things around. They could list on an exchange. If they get on Maxi, Bitmart, whatever else, I'll consider it. But for now, it's only on Uniswap. I'm not going to touch it. There, there's there's too many Uniswap tokens out there. They're, they're very risky. Uh, they get spun up every day. Very risky. I'm not going to recommend a Uniswap token. Can't believe I'm on vacation here in Mexico listening to your live stream. That's awesome, dude. Well, why, why are you surprised? You should, of course, you should listen to the live stream. Why is that a surprise? Uh, JT says, wag me YouTuber. Scott Herman is part of the team. Oh, wow. Interesting. Thank you for that uh, information. So wag me games has Scott Herman. He's a YouTuber. Who is that? 2.7 million subscribers. Holy crap, dude. That's a lot. That's so many people. Oh, but it doesn't get that many views, dude. You can have 2 million subscribers, but if your videos only get like 20,000 views each, you're really not that big. But he's still a big channel. Damn, dude. But still, so he's supporting Wagme games? I mean, it happens a lot of times. Like these, these cryptos will pay for influencers, but that doesn't mean that the fundamentals of the crypto are actually good. So, uh, but it's good for the pumps nonetheless, right? Because if, uh, if who you said, Scott Herman will promote our crypto, He's going to pump our bag. So Wagman Games could be decent. I believe the team is up here, Doxed. Uh, first guy, Ian, Ian Bentley. Let's go see what is his history. He's from Pivot and Scale, Auto Beetle, Local Light. What the hell are these places? Yeah, I don't know, man. I have no idea what this history is. I have no idea what he did before. Uh, looks kind of sketchy. Who's this other guy? Louis Trujillo. What has he done? He was the leader at a church. Okay. Uh, tax accountant. Founder of helping accounting firms grow. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, dude. This wag me team kind of sucks if I'm being honest, but don't get me wrong. It could pump nonetheless. I'm not saying it's a scam, but uh, it's a good short term play for sure. Right. It still has potential. What's up, Crypto Galaxy? Sorry, I'm late, man, but I just got the VIP. Man of my word! Let's go! <laughs> Yo, awesome, man. Don't like, welcome, sir, to the VIP tier. What's up, dude? Awesome, man. Welcome to the Patreon. Glad you got it now because I was literally about to increase the price today of VIP tier, but then there was a... Uh, I heard Onosai echoing in my head saying, bro, wait, don't raise the price yet. Do it next week. So I was waiting. So now that you join now, I'll probably go raise the price to $69 a month. So awesome, man. You got grandfathered in forever at this price. Uh, should you choose to stay with us? Recommend. Are you on the Discord channel? Did you join the Discord? I, I'm, I'm just saying, for you or anyone else who joined Patreon recently, please join the Discord. This is where the buy alerts are. I don't post the buy alerts up here in the post. The, the buy alerts go on Discord. So if you join Patreon, you have to get on the Discord. Check your email. Check your junk folder, your spam folder. Uh, there is an email from Patreon that has a big button in there that's blue and it says Discord. So you, you have to join the Discord directly with that link. If it doesn't work for whatever reason, just shoot me a, a message on Patreon. As you can see, I don't have many friends. People don't message me that much. I don't, I don't have any messages. So don't worry. Don't 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 feel bad about sending me a DM. Send me a message on Patreon or Discord if you would like to. If you're on the Patreon, send me a message. I can help you out with anything. It's also great just to chat with us in the general chat room in Discord too. Because if you have any questions or any, any information that'll help. Uh, chances are other people have the same questions. It's nice to work together as a team. But for more uh, personal information stuff, uh, go ahead and shoot me a message if you need to. I will help you out. But yeah, man, welcome to the Patreon. Dude, that's awesome. Ono side gets the buy alerts and the sell alerts. Dude, 
I dropped a couple buy alerts today. I did. I'm still uh, dollar cost averaging into some of these bullish looking picks. I got two cryptos today. I got um, four or five cryptos yesterday. Uh, man, I'm dropping buy alerts a lot more frequently now because I'm just going to keep dollar cost averaging into these gems and see which one flies. But yeah, check out the buy alerts. Ono side, go through the buy alerts history and you will see um, all the other picks that I've been buying as of late. So go grab some small bags of all those uh, buy alerts. Awesome, man. Welcome. Your Patreon will ROI. I believe it. Yes, dude. I, I believe it will ROI too. For sure, man. Hello is gaming as well. Okay, cool, man. Yeah, I'll have to take another look at it. It's a, it's a good pick for sure. So thanks for reminding me, uh, Joey. I'll add hello to the honorable mentions list and maybe we can demote uh, Medieval or Abyss World. I don't know. We'll see. I have to, it's so easy to demote these these four picks are none of them are solidified, so we'll see. Cardano is a great project. Cardano is decentralized stablecoin, which will bring necessary DeFi. Please check it. <laughs> Dude, Cardano is centralized. So there's no such thing as a decentralized token on Cardano. It's impossible. Cardano is freaking centralized. I was trying not to drop an F-bomb. I'm... My, my, my therapist tells me, Galaxy, why do you always get so triggered? Why do you get so upset? Why do I get upset? It's because you people keep saying Cardano is fucking decentralized. It's not fucking decentralized. It's centralized. It's shit. Cardano fucking sucks. The worst pick ever. Ah. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck. I'm so mad. I'm so triggered. Sorry, Michael Bur Bertros. Um... I do this often. I get uh, raging outbursts. I get angry. My, I'm working on it with my therapist, but fuck, man. Fucking Cardano. This shit sucks, dude. It's centralized. It had a pre-allocation and a pre-distribution, and the team owns Cardano. It's not decentralized. So literally anything you make on Cardano by default is centralized. So if you rely on Cardano, which is centralized, your shit is also uh, centralized. So I'm sorry, man. Cardano is not decentralized, and neither is any token on Cardano. Um, same same goes for BNB chain. It's not decentralized. Um, Ethereum, somewhat decentralized, still not really decentralized. The only truly decentralized cryptos that I think are bullish are Bitcoin, Caspar, maybe Dogecoin, and some others, but there's really not many. The proof of work. Coins are decentralized, but holy shit, man. Cardano sucks. It's the worst pick ever. Oh, my God. I was trying so hard to make it through a whole stream without getting triggered. And I got triggered. Khan says, Jasmine, to the moon. <laughs> Warren Buffett investing in Japan. Yeah, Onosai, get on the Discord. Through Patreon, I'll add Discord through it. Brother, I'll message you. CG, awesome, man. Yeah, dude, just hit me up with the DM. Anything you want to talk about, bro, just hit me up. My direct messages are wide open. I have, uh, they're all caught up. They're all read up. So go ahead and shoot me a message. I'll, we can chat about, chat about whatever you want, man. Hi, CG. Hope you're having a great day, bro. What's up, Lando? Yes, sir. Having a good day. What's up, man? What's going on? Bro, I am so happy. Deleting my friends. <laughs> Onosai says, yes, that's why I pay every time. Totally worth it. VIP, let's go, man. Yeah, I recommend. You, you got to get on the VIP tier. Anyone else, you got to check it out, dude. This is where it's at. Get the buy alerts. Uh, if someone suggested GFAL to you today and you look at the chart, what would you say? Uh, I would say bullish. Go buy it. It's looking good. And I would buy it. I would definitely buy it. It's still a good pick for sure. I would absolutely buy it. Bull Bear AI chart is decent. What say you? <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, okay. The chart is decent, but something looks really suspicious. All right. There could be some manipulation with the tokenomics. So this chart does not look real. It looks fake. Something is weird with the tokenomics. They can min they can adjust the supply. They can adjust the price. I don't know. Something's going on, but I have, I have no idea. Mr. Bella says, solid channel today. The guy said the same as you were coins that were in the last bull run do the worst. Second bull run, he sold a list in prices. Wow, I sold my ultra way to wait. Yeah, 
cryptos from the last bull run, do not buy them. They're worse. You got to get the new cryptos. And yeah, Altura sucks. Holy crap. Where's Altura? Uh, is that a gaming crypto? Oh my God, man. This thing is a huge pump and dump scam. Uh, um, is this a gaming crypto? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So that is going to the scams list. That sucks. Michael Bertrand's Galaxy, you're killing me. All right, glad that you're laughing and you're not getting all upset. Yeah, I know. I was, I was on a rant right there. Makeup says LMAO. Cardano's overrated. Yeah, it's so overrated, dude. Zap's almost been a week. Good to see you too, bro. What's up, Zade? <laughs> Ada. Yeah, Ada sucks, man. Let me know. Let me know how you really feel about Cardano. <laughs> How many times has Gensler quit this week? <laughs> Don't mind him, kids. CG Big Ada at the top. All jokes aside, any POS can't ever be fully centralized or decentralized. Yep. That is true. That is true. POS cannot be decentralized. It's impossible by the very nature. AMKT is good. Okay, dude. AMKT? Alongside crypto market? Oh, wow. Okay, I take it back. I take back the funny music. Okay, it's looking bullish. What does this do? Is this on gate? Nice. What's the fully diluted market cap? It doesn't even say. So maybe on Dex tools it'll tell me. What is it? Uh, Market cap, 2 million? Damn. Yeah, chart looking good. What is this about? This has my interest. The name of the crypto sucks, but I like the chart. So let's go see. Oh my God. Dot XYZ is the laziest name ever. Diversify crypto. Diversify into the crypto market with a single token. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that sucks. That's a ter terrible fundamental. Oh, buy our crypto so we can buy other cryptos for you because you're too stupid to do it. Well, you, sir, alongside, are too stupid to buy any cryptos, and you do not get my get money. Get the fuck out of here! So, I, I get it, bullish chart, but holy crap, man. The fundamental is a blatant scam. TG, you think GFAL can 3,000x? Uh, it could. Maybe. We'll see. Anything is possible. Uh, is it a bit of a stretch? Yes, but it's still technically possible, so we'll see. Can't get my friend to sell his Cardano for cash, but I booked him a place in the homeless shelter. <laughs> oh man, yeah, go 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 grab your friends their spots in the homeless shelter. Get them some ramen noodles, some rice and beans, so that they're ready for the cardboard boxes in the homeless shelter and their 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 scoops of glop, the food, the soup, whatever soup they eat in the homeless shelter. They got to get ready. It's going to happen, man. Some people are going to go homeless. They're going to be in the shelter. Sad, dude. The Cardano investors are going to have a place of their own. Whole new top five list. Looks good as usual. CG, thanks. Onosai, yes, sir. It is a whole new top five list because, dude, these cryptos change so fast, man. It changes like, boom. New crypto is in. New crypto became a scam. You never know. But GFAL for sure has won my heart. This stays at number one. But these, these, other, these other picks... None of them are solidified number two. I have no idea. These are all super risky gaming picks. I recommend no more than 40 bucks in each one. You never know. It's just only G foul. It's the only good one. If POS had a fixed limit and there was a fair way of distributing it, it can be fully decentralized, but that usually doesn't exist. Um, you make a good point. Is that true? If it was if there was a fair way to distribute it, what is a fair way to distribute it though? How is that possible? Because to distribute it fairly means that it comes from somebody, but to come from somebody, it means that it's centralized. So how would you distribute it fairly? I think it's still impossible, but you can, you can let me know an alternative. How would you distribute a POS token fairly? I don't understand how you can do it, but it's saying that Ada will pump again as people haven't abandoned it. <laughs> Is Volt still vaulting? Did Pablo Crow give up, give up on it? Did he give up on it? Oh, Pablo Crow. He's the Volt Inu Maxi. <laughs> Well, of course, Pablo Crow is a Voltinu Maxi. He only holds Voltinu, and he got in super early. Yeah, he's still talking about Voltinu. But, dude, Voltinu sucks, man. It's dumping. It's it's 
I have some. I have a small bag. I would I would recommend, you know, buy 50 bucks a vault, but not go in heavy. It's a meme coin. The only meme coin I think that has potential for the next bull run is uh, Dogecoin and maybe Pepe. I have those. I recommend those. Dogecoin way better because it's a proof of work layer one. It has good fundamentals, actually decentralized, and it is backed by Elon Musk. But all these other crypto meme coins, they're all tokens on Ethereum and the BNB chain. So um, not only do they rely on a big chain above them, but they're inherently worthless. Every token is inherently worthless. Same for GFAL. I'm sorry. GFAL is inherently worthless. It's a token. Layer ones, layer ones are the only cryptos with potential for inherent value. POS distribution done by AI. Yes, thank me later. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, we, what are we looking at for likes on the video? 118. Let's go. 125. Please, could you hit the like button? Jake Gordon versus Crypto Lee. <laughs> Jake Gordon versus Captain Lee. All right, we'll take a look. Could you please hit the like button? We're at 118. If we get to 120, then I can go review some of these clowns. Please smash. Okay, thank you. We're at 121. All right. So who is the bigger clown? Let's go see. Between these two people. What song do we want? I think this one's better. Da 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 H bar Cardano da 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 Homeless portfolio Jake Gordon Do you like ramen noodles rice or beans Dun 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 Oh H bar the exit strategy for H bar to make millions of nothing. You can get um, with H bar, you might be able to buy a million cardboard boxes. Even that's a stretch, though. I don't know. Could you buy a million cardboard boxes with your H bar profits? They should declare cardboard box a security. <laughs> uh pack of sad i'm busy roasting the clowns why are we talking about the cardboard box securities we'll get to that later <laughs> they are securities though so here's the thing jake gordon i mean he has potential to turn his life around and to um buy more caspa and gfal right because here it is he actually has one video on cast and gfal but he says he's waiting for the perfect entry because they already pumped so he would rather buy more H bar because it's dumping. But anyways, Jake Gordon has potential to turn things around, uh, to come out of the, the gutters and to go from rags to riches. But for now, he's only losing money. And same for his whole audience because H bar sucks. Algorand sucks. XRPL, XLM suck. Jasmine sucks. I like that he's bullish on quant. I'll give him that credit. Like quant's okay. You know, quant's fine. So maybe his quant will save his portfolio. Probably not. Then we'll see. Who's uh, we the captain? Is he a bigger clown? Yes or no? Casper will shock the world. Are we? Ave? H bar. Dogalon Mars. Moon River. This is so bad. <laughs> All right, I'm I, okay. Everyone, listen up. I have reached a verdict. Who is the bigger clown? And everyone, give it up to our biggest clown is <laughs> Lee the Captain. Hey, <laughs> Lee the Clap Captain. Congratulations, my sir. You won the award for the biggest YouTube clown of 2023 you have potential to become homeless and not only become homeless, but for your entire ho audience to go homeless with you as well. So hopefully your next video talks about whether the cardboard box home is a security. <laughs> Common Sense Crypto Channel. Well, if that's the name of his channel, it should certainly be Common Sense. But we'll, we'll have to take a look first. XLM, XRP. H bar, it sucks. Mm. 
Oh my God, this guy is terrible. These are common sense picks for the people who want to fight for scraps and live in a cardboard box. <laughs> yeah, Cardano's for losers. Is Mexi allowed in the USA? Um, some states, yes. Some states, no. I don't know. I would just use a VPN to be safe. Uh, oh, by the way, I got a new uh, referral link for a, a, a good VPN that I recommend. This is the fastest and easiest to use a good UI. It's, it's, it looks really good. So I recommend it. Uh, I, I don't know if I put it in the description. I better go do that. I'll add it to the description soon. It's in my last description. So come to the last video. I'll add it to the description for this video. It's NordVPN. Um, I recommend this VPN for Mexi, for any exchange that you use that's sketchy. Use my link in here, and then you can get like a, a discount on the, um, I think the uh, the multi-month option or the year option. It's really cheap. It's only like five bucks a month. It's it's cheap. It's safe. It's the most popular one in the world, and it has a really good uh, user interface. So I would recommend get on the NordVPN and use that for um, using Mexi. And use my uh, link down below if you want to get a discount. I don't have the link in this stream yet as of the time that you're watching it live. But if you're watching this video back, uh, it will be in the description later. All right? I'll put it in very soon. Is Newt on the list to hold? Uh, not really. <laughs> Jeez, we said Caspa, not Casper. <laughs> Who behind Image and I? Uh, anonymous team. I get it. It's a red flag, but whatever, man. It's the only good AI pick I can find. Lee the captain. Is he an AI-generated presenter? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you're crying. <laughs> so you're saying H-Bar, we're not making anyone any money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, freaking H-Bar. Finally, you have links for a VPN. I've been asking it for months. Yes, I have a link. Send it. We'll put the link in the description very soon. Nord is my go-to. Awesome, man. You like Nord, too. That's really good. Lee the loser. <laughs> Yes, Jim, Lee the loser. Not looking that great. <laughs> Freaking Lee. Um, let me go uh, put the link in now because I know someone's like, oh, my gosh, I got to go click the link now. I got to go FOMO into the VPN ASAP. The VPN is going to sell out. It's not going to sell out. <clears throat> I'll put it on here. Okay. That is there. Please let me save it. No, it's not made for kids. Every time I make a YouTube video, I have to say whether it's made for kids. <laughs> it's not made for kids. This is an this is an ad, adult show. We 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 gamble our money in the casino cryptos. This is very uh only for adults. K children should not gamble money. <laughs> really, no one should gamble money. But let's face it, we're degenerates. We had no choice but to gamble our money and to try to make money in the next bull run. So, yeah, I updated the uh <clears throat> updated the uh the stream description. So here, come here, scroll down, and here. Get NordVPN, use my referral link, and you can get some discounts on the VPN. I recommend using VPNs for Mexi when you grab all these gems because um, if they have your area code or your IP address, they can and will block you or freeze your account or prohibit you from withdrawing. They will do something. So with the VPN, you can pick a different location, like, I don't know, Canada, Dubai, Portugal, whatever you want, and then uh, Maxi will allow you to do your stuff because they're really cracking down on USA residents, not Maxi particularly, but I have heard that some states in the U S have been banned for Maxi, but not every state. It depends on your state. So I'm just saying, be safe, get a VPN, set your location elsewhere so that you don't lose all your money on the exchanges so that they don't block you. So you, you can actually use the uh, exchange. So yeah, use a VPN. I recommend using Maxi. Maxi has listed so far uh G file, Lit Labs, Medieval, and Abyss World, but not Wag Me Games yet. You have to get this on Bitmart or Uniswap. Dude, I love Mexi. They have all the gems. Mexi is the best uh, exchange for every new crypto gem. They literally list everything. I got 2K in gel at 2.3 cents. I'm so fucked. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so sorry, I see. I'm so sorry, bro. You got scammed on Gala. That's so sad, man. You bought it at 2.3 cents. <laughs> AKD, hit the like. Thank you, sir, very much. I thought Miria was a scam. 
Yeah, I think it is too. It's on the verge, all right? So here, it's like on the verge of being a scam. It's so close. It's on thin ice. I think it's a scam, but who knows? Could turn things around for now. It looks like it sucks. This is the last honorable mention list. Um, I'll consider it, but yeah, it, it's pretty scammy. Like this is borderline scammy. It's very, it's very scammy. I started watching Jake. The thing with him is he got H bar at 14 cents with $45,000. He's trying to pump it to get out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to pump it to get out of it, but it's funny because, uh, you can't pump a crypto when the team and the VCs, uh, keep dumping on you. It's, it's hilarious. He's never going to pump dude. No YouTube channel can pump H bar the size of Jake Gordon's channel. His channel is not big enough to pump H bar. H bar is a billion dollar market cap. Who's going to pump your bags? It's already listed everywhere. It sucks, man. $1.5 billion and it's already listed on Coinbase. This thing sucks. Man, who is going to pump your bags, Jake Gordon? Nobody. LOL, you caught Alluvium a scam? Well, yeah. Alluvium sucks, dude. Let's go uh let's go look at the chart. Let's see. How's the Alluvium chart looking? Oh, my God, man. This is a huge pump and dump scam. Oh. Oh. I didn't want to have to look at the ugly chart again by Earthworm Jim. Damn it. You made me look at it. Holy shit. This thing sucks. It's a rug. This thing is jumped to shit. I tried to tell Oscar Amos about Caspa, but he doesn't take it seriously, and I'm worried about it. <laughs> Bro, Michael Boutros, I would be worried about him too. Dude, I'm worried about 95% of all the other crypto YouTubers. I'm seriously concerned for their well-beings because they're all losing money on the worst pick picks ever. Oscar Ramos has terrible picks, dude. He's a circus show. He's a clown. Let's go take a look. What is Oscar Ramos bullish on? Let's see. Kronos? Shiba Inu? Grape? Get the fuck out of here! Oh, just FYI, everyone. I, um, heads up. I got an email from Grape today. Um, they're trying to pay me to promote Grape. They said, hey, hello, we're reaching all the YouTube influencers and you could make millions of dollars. We'll pay you to make videos to promote our crypto. So... I swear, I actually have that email. I'm not making it up. So, is everyone ready? I'm going to expose uh, Oscar Ramos for being a pay chiller live on the air now. Okay, so here, I'm going to go pick up my email. I'm going to go to my email from Grape. And let's see, where is my email? Let's, uh, did, I, did I send it to my spam folder? Oh, here it is. Great partnership deals. Here we go. Gonna take a little screenshot of this little scam. And uh let's see. Gonna pull up this screenshot and show you people exactly proof that this guy is a paid chiller and probably trying to make you all lose your money. All right, so here we go. You see this? Here's the email I got from Grape today, which is the this the same crypto that Oscar Ramos is promoting. Uh this email from Grape, it says Limited partnership offer, uh, great partner deals. Hello, I'm following up on the last email to see if you're interested in promoting our project, Grape. Uh, in short, Grape is built for the next generation of Web3 applications and provides huge scalability and profitability for new apps and games, completely decentralized. <laughs> uh, we're prepping for the launch of our Grape token and gaining massive traction across similar YouTube channels. We hope you'll join them in a lucrative partnership with us. If this sounds interesting, please get back to me with your Telegram details and we can schedule a call. So here you have it in the writing. Grape is paying people to show their crypto. And this is very normal. I get these emails all the time from other cryptos. Um, and I tell them, I, I don't actually answer these emails or I'll, I'll ask them, oh, what's your offer? Because I'm just curious to hear how much they're offering to other YouTubers. Sometimes they'll answer or sometimes they won't because these people, they kind of know that I'm not a paid chiller. So they usually don't follow through and I don't, I'm never going to follow through with any of these people. They're all scammers. Why would I want anyone to buy a grape or any token that's paying me to shill it? Cause then it's not genuinely, honestly coming from my opinion. Right? So 
Oscar Ramos is a confirmed paid chiller. All he wants to do is take money to promote cryptos and to get his audience dumped on. He really doesn't give a shit about you or anyone else that watches you because he's going to take money to show terrible scam projects that just ask him to promote crappy cryptos for money. So it's really sad, dude. The only money I'll accept here is on, you know, Super Chats, YouTube ads, and my Patreon. That's it. It's very honest and transparent. I don't take any money to be pay a paid chiller. I actually want you people to make money with your crypto investments. That's what you came to YouTube for, right? You want to make money on your crypto investments? So why would I show stupid-ass crap like Grape, Kronos, and Shiba Inu? Olivia will go back up when the games come out. <laughs> Caspo is named after me. <laughs> Oscar is a Kronos Maxi. He's also a Kronos paid chiller. So who has good picks? Serious question. <laughs> I say a good question. <laughs> That's actually a good question. He's like, who the fuck who has good picks around here? Damn it. I'm tired of being scammed by everyone. Um, Bro, you're looking at it. <laughs> me? Maybe a couple other people. I haven't found their channels. Could you please let me know if you find them? Like, there's other channels that I like. I like Crypto John. I like Casper Silver. But if you're looking for low cap altcoins that are new, there's no one. It's just me. I, I'm I'm looking for the channels. I'm not saying this to, to sound like I'm the best YouTuber ever. I'm honestly looking for other channels with good low cap picks, and they all are they all suck. They're all scams. TG if all goes well, we'll be on a beach with some being a colada getting caught in the rain. JK will have fun traveling the world. Yes, sir, man. We're going to go on some nice vacations after we make money. Uh, Mary, 0x0, zero zero, don't recommend. It's only on Uniswap. <clears throat> Technically, all crypto is a scam and a Ponzi. Oh, uh, yeah, all crypto is a Ponzi. Grape is bad considering what it's a uh, euphemism for. Uh, yeah, it's a bad name. I agree. He'll definitely call Wild World a scam. All right, I'll go take a look at Wild World. Jim's like, I know he's going to call it a scam. Oh, my God, man. This thing is worse than alluvium. <laughs> Galaxy, please. Your reputation is on the line. None of Oscar, that crypto show made a 100x. They all went down, especially AMP token. Yeah, they're all scams. Why do you people keep watching other YouTubers who are blatantly promoting cryptos that always dump, that go down, and they have no good track record of making money. It just blows my mind that people still support these YouTube channels. It's crazy, dude. It's insane. Do we live in La La Land? La La World? Is this a, a fairy tale or what? This is crazy, man. No one actually supports good cryptos. Jeez, dude. I recommend get on the VIP tier, get the buy alerts, the sell alerts, track my portfolio, get the actual gems. Most of the other YouTube channels are scams, and we already know it. I just showed you with the email. <laughs> There's so many paid shillers. They promote crappy scam cryptos. I understand some of my picks are scammy, but at least they have potential, right? At least they're not pump and dumps, and at least they're new scams, and at least I'm not being paid to shill these. So they have more potential than most of the other picks. Uh, VIP tier going up very soon in price because Ono side, shout out to you, bro. You just joined. I was waiting for you to join. Now I will raise the price to $69. This is going up to $69. So... For everyone else who's already on the Patreon now, you are grandfathered in forever at the price that you signed up for. So if you join today or the day before, you're in at 59 bucks a month forever. And if you join at 49 bucks a month, you're in at 49 bucks a month forever. And um, if you join after I raise the price, then your price, your, your new price will be 69 bucks a month. Pretty nice. So uh, nothing wrong with 69 bucks, right? It's a good number. So uh, the price will be going up pretty soon for VIP. I think it's the best tier just because you can track all my trades. I dropped uh, a couple buy alerts today. I also dropped uh, four or five yesterday. Would recommend checking it out. VIP tier will save you from so many tiers from lost, lost profits. Yes, sir. I think so. Oscar's a nice guy, but nice guys finish. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well said. Wes Luna says another good stream. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah. Going to be shutting down the stream soon. We're over two hours. Thank you very much for watching glad you were able to join the stream recommend getting some games for a living put it on a tangent go ahead and buy a one key as well subscribe to the channel smash the like button and check out uh, the patreon and uh carrie says how many copycat galaxy channels started promoting cast g file pip and after the og crypto galaxy there's a few small copycats there's a few of them 
Uh, maybe like three or four. There's a, there's a few small ones. There's, there's not many, but there's a few. <clears throat> BL, what's up? What's going on? Welcome. Oh, I know you've been here the whole time, BL. What's up? What's good? Make them. Thanks, CG. And thank you, sir. Make them. Take them. Go make those profits and go take the money from other people that you dumped on. <laughs> go make the profits. Go take the money. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being on the stream. Check out the VIP tier, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Goodbye, and peace out.